Good evening, everybody. My name is Cameron, and it's about 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time here in the beautiful city of Philadelphia. And for some reason, although it's about the end of March, it is still snowing. We've had a couple of instances of snow squalls here on the northeastern seaboard of the United States of America, and I have no idea why. In my lifetime alone, I have witnessed snow in October and now snow in March. I have experienced snow throughout half of the year, I've and that's incredible. Snow in, in April. Snow happens all the time, apparently, around here. I don't know why. It's too cold over here. But in any case, that's why I have my heater on. Hello, everybody. Today, ooh, let me put myself down here so we can see the beautiful title up there. I'm playing an indie game called Penkapu? Pankapu? I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it. A little bit of backstory here. I have never kickstarted anything on the internet, except for one thing, and that was this game. I don't know what I don't know why I did it. Many, many years ago, I think I was just looking around and was like, wow, that's a game that I kinda want, I guess, maybe. And I kickstarted it. I think I spent like 30 something bucks on it. I got on a, a free copy and I never played it. It's been years. Kickstarted it years ago, came out a couple years later, and I have literally never played this. It's just been sitting in my library for so long. And now I'm like, well, if I'm attempting to play all of my Steam games, play the Steam games, I will eventually play this one. It's great. It's great. It's wonderful. Dakota's apparently seen snow in June, and I feel so bad for you. Unless you really like snow. There are a lot of people there are people out there who love snow a heck of a lot more than I do. I love snow, don't get me wrong. I love the sled. I like to build snowmen and whatnot. It's just it's just cold. I have to bike through the snow. It's cold. I don't like the cold. Now, if I could have snow without it being cold, that would probably be my ideal moment. In any case, let's get things started. I believe, I don't know too much about the game, which I probably should, because I, I, I put support behind it. I'm pretty sure all I did was like, wow, pretty game, nice graphics, here money, and that's what I did. But honestly, that's how, I feel like that's the way that these unique gems pop up into the world. Like, people, people like, if people like what they see, and they throw some money in it, then, then sometimes those things can grow, you know? If, if I like to think of it this way, me and my dollars and cents is like watering a plant, the plant of ingenuity that may blossom into a great flower or a fruit tree, or perhaps it'll just die. In which case, it's a pretty bad investment. But I don't think this is a bad investment. It's a bad investment right now because I haven't played it yet. But now, I'm about to play Penkapu. Never played it. There's nothing here. Nothing at all. Shall we start? We shall. And I think I should actually be in this corner so we can see the loading little dude down there. So no, snow sucks. Dakota hates everything about it. Nice. Oh my, what is this? This isn't snow. Hi there. Wow, I love your emover. <laughs> ah! Screams this person with the with the purple purple little pupils there. I love that. Oh, I guess I guess they were voice acting. That's cool. Oh, just kidding. Jaharel. All right. You must have had a bad dream because of the storm. She's scared. The small little child is scared. Come here, let me read you a story. A story about... I don't know. What kind of story would that be? Oh, did I did I do it? Nah, there we go. Omnia. Omnia. What a very appropriate name for something that should last on forever and ever and ever. Omni. As in every or everything? Like omnipresent or omnipotent. I like those. If my kingdom's inhabitants looked as cute as these little guys, I would be happy to rule over such a kingdom. Or live in it. I don't know if I'm the ruler. Oh. Oh my. The nightmare world. Well, apparently there's a dream world and a nightmare world. I always knew that they were not one of the same. Totally mutually exclusive. Except in this case, where one has crossed- Kya <laughs> Nagis. I kind of I kind of love how the evil nightmare versions of the creatures are exactly what they were before except darker and with like eviler eyes and color schemes. That's all it takes. The dreams was threatened and with it the hope all had once known was in danger of disappearing forever. Forever. That's all. That's all. That's all there is. Luckily, it could tell me the hymn of dreams decided there was still for a moment i heard the hymn of dreams and i think a hymn is supposed to be like a song but i heard him as in like a dude like a male pronoun i was like the hymn of dreams like the ultimate dude ruler of 
The dreamscape. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he's got immense powers, if you know what I mean. Look at those muscles. And they're yellow or gold. It's probably gold. And earthed a guardian capable of defeating the Hyanaki. And that guardian's name was... Do we have a name? Do I give myself a name? Pinkapu. That's my name. Oh, look at that. Oh, goodness. I was born naked. Just like my real self. Just like my, my dream person. Pankapu. 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 It's one dude. It looks like there's three of them, but there's only one. There's only one, and that is me. That is me, and I am the dude. Anyways. Yo, what's up, Ikatomi? Alright, well, that was not voice acted the way that I thought it was going to be. Hello, Penkapu. I am Ikatomi, the hymn of dreams. Look at me and my powerful biceps. Some of them are so powerful that they've created small black holes that now suck in all of the light around it and then showcase the light from beyond. Take a look at my muscles. They're literally full of stars. Anyway, I'm the weaver of humanity's dreams and your creator, incidentally. The veil separating dreams from nightmares has been torn, and Hyanagis are using this to sleep into our kingdom and lay waste to our precious land. I have heard no news of Ohidi, a, a forest spirit, and I am afraid some misfortune has happened to him. You must go find him. What is this? Just, just ignore it. Anna, what are you doing? I oh, she's taking my measurements. She's taking measurements for cosplay stuff. Your first mission as Dreamkeeper is, therefore, to seek him out and aid him as best you can. To help you with your quest, I am giving you the Aegis of Bravery. Its power will help give you strength and protection. Equipped with this exquisite red armor and sword, you will be able to fight on equal terms with the Hyan Nagis you encounter along the way. As an action is worth more than a thousand words, what would you say to try it out from now on? Ohidi needs you, so off you go, Dreamkeeper. Protect Omnia by the strength of your bravery. What a capital B, too. That's not how I would spell bravery. I'd use a lowercase b because it appeared at the end of the sentence. Anyway, I have a sword. My Aegis. I can slash my Aegis. My Aegis. Aegis slash. That's a Pokemon, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I can... Oh, I have a shield. That's cute little. It's like a ruby heart type thing. I like that. I can... I can jump. Can jump. Can slash. Oh, I can jump slash. Can I dash? Can I dash? Can I run? Can I do anything else? Nope. I'm just gonna move on. Alrighty then. On to the next area. It's a book! Pepu... Pepuna. Pepuna. There's a hundred little dudes. Oh my god, look at all the dudes! Do I have a cursor? I do not have a cursor. Apparently, I do not have a cursor when using this game with a controller, so we don't get to see that. But there's little Pepus. Pepus! I don't know what that means. Anyway, I guess, uh, Pepuna. Play? I'll play Pepuna. I'll play all those Pepunas. Oh, this is Pepuna. There's supposedly a hundred of them here. A hundred of the little guys. I, I thought. Can I... No, I'm pretty sure I... Oh, alrighty then. Oh, that's that's fine then. Okay, um, I guess I'm not gonna do Pepuna. There is, um... Oh, this is the area of Pepu. This is Pepu. And if you see up there above me, there's a very angry-looking turnip, which I'm pretty sure I saw in the exposition. Anyway, let's see what it's all about. This is apparently the dreamscape, and it is quite dreamy. Very dreamy. To press jump A. Ah, press A to attack. Press... <laughs> Or however you pronounce X. You can pronounce X like S-H, I'm pretty sure, like a SH. I suppose I want to touch the thorns, unless... No, don't touch the thorns. Hold down A to jump higher. Oh. Oh, hold down. Oh, hold down the A button. As I thought it was hold down and then A. No, that's not right. Use Y in midair. Yee, in midair to perform a downwards dive attack. Oh, look at that. Like the Legend of Zelda guy from Super Smash Brothers? Yes, exactly like that. Oh, oh. Floating platforms. So we kind of got some platforming. The statics here. I like that. I like that. Smashing the tiny little glue bobs. And whatever this is. I'm guessing that's health. It was health before. To block. Press. Ugh. Okay. Well, I was trying to. No, stop. I want to hit you, you stupid log of doom. Maybe if I. If I go downward. Nope. Can I go downward? Yeah, that's right. Die. Die. I can't destroy you, can I? No. Wow. This is very early for the enemies to... Oh, that must be a save point. Very early for the enemy... The uh, the terrain to start attacking me. That's the That seems too soon for something like this. Anyways. What is this thing? Oh, what are you... Okay. Get out of here, you filthy monster! I'm not edible! You don't look very edible to me. 
Think about blocking using B, little warrior. No, you don't tell me what to do. I whack, I slash, I attack, and sometimes defend. Go ahead, try it again. I'm gonna get you with my... Oh, you're dead. Okay. Tell me more, small creature. Hello, Chi. Hey, what are you doing? You're stealing my fian e I was going to eat one of those. You appear to be a dream keeper of Ikotomi, as you may be seen. I had the situation perfectly in hand. I didn't need your help at all. But, no well. Thanks, anyway. You're totally welcome, you ungrateful piece of... I don't even know what you are. You look like nectar. Hey, wait. Where are you going? Ikotomi sent you out to look for Ohi, didn't he? Well... That's just as well. I know Omnia like the back of my hand. Well, leg. I have no hands, you see. Unless you consider my entire body to be a hand, in which case I'm all fingers. I'm literally fingering everything I touch. His house is right in the middle of Mudjun Mir. You need to cross the Verdant Forest to get there. You know what? I'll come with you. Just to make sure you don't get lost or anything. And that's got nothing to do with being stuck on my own, surrounded by these Hyanagi. Nothing at all. In fact, my name is Chi. But you can call me Spider Lad. <laughs> or all hands. You can call me all hands. <laughs> Literally all hands. All, it's all fingers. Me and my buddy Chi are gonna storm the world. We are gonna take on these Hinagis. Ow. Ow, I hurt myself. Wow, I'm hurting myself a lot. Well, it's a good thing this game is forgiving. Is it? I don't know. I did just pass a, what I assume to be a checkpoint. Maybe. I also enjoy moving platforms. Nice, another checkpoint. Does this move? Ah, uh, moving platforms. We we appreciate that. I like moving platforms. I'm running along, little one. Go ahead. Yes. Moving platforms. Oh yes. Oh, we slash the little gooby guy. Seriously. I guess I had forgotten for a moment that if I slash in the air, I gain a little more air time. No, no, no. Why would you? Now why would you disappear like that? Yeah, I can kind of hang up in the air for a couple more seconds with that. That's pretty cool. Oh, my- oh, oh, I see. I cannot go under that. That was- that was unclear to me. That's okay. I am now better than I was before. No, I- I apparently guarded in the wrong direction. I can guard this way or this way- oh, I can just- That's how we do it. That's how you guard in multiple directions. Or- but not at once. Only individually. Anyway, Sage is spinny. Now to the Crossways Garden. I still haven't found any little goos yet. I want to find more. Crossways Garden. This, this is nice. Like platformer, slashy thingamabob. I'm not sp I'm not um, falling on turtles or anything like that. Certainly not as classic as the Super Mario Brothers. However, this is pleasant so far. And I like the art style. I want to say what originally drew me to this was the art. It just, it's nice. It's like a little cartoony type thing. And the names are pretty cool. I don't know exactly what the origin of any of the names are, but they sound cool. They sound... I don't want to use the term exotic. They just don't sound, they don't sound like they come from a language that I speak. They sound like they come from a place much more cult cultured than I. Not saying that America is without its culture, but like different culture. There's so much culture in the world. It's great. Hey yo. Hey yo do 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 do. Yo, actually, I, I want to do this. I <laughs> We went to a concert over the weekend for a band called Cave Town and they were selling kazoos. So I bought a kazoo. Hey yo. Anyway, I have a kazoo now. That will not be the only time that this appears on stream. Speaking of different cultures, Astro's going to Mexico. I've been told not to drink the water. However, I heard that from somebody else and they might just be not you don't drink the water in Mexico because okay. there's uh bacteria there's there's things that Anna says there's not to drink the Mexican water, so watch out. Instead, grab a nice cool Coca-Cola made this with real Mexican guys. sugar. They'll be fine. Honey, honey, oh sugar. By Ikotomi, we're really unlucky. See that young shoot there? That's a bud which, once it matures, will create a root which will get us to the other side in no time. If only we were in a magical world. We can find something to make it grow. Are we not literally in the world of dreams? Do you not break the fourth wall in this game? Because you should be. You should break the fourth wall more often. What would happen if I whack it with my... Nothing. I literally can't go that way. All right. Astro is going to a good place in Mexico. The finest of places where the water is just fine. Or so he believes. I'm sure Astro's body is perfectly prepared for whatever may pop into his system. 
And he doesn't have to worry about the water while you're there. That That's good. That's good. I, I don't know. I just remember, I think it was one of my history teachers in high school who was like, yeah, I went to Mexico and we drank the tap water and I was sick for the whole trip. And I was like, I feel bad for you. I, I like tap water. Honestly, I don't think I should have a problem with it. But I, and I mean, some people out there who are much more, uh, much better sommeliers of water than I, uh, sommelier water, hydro sommelier, potentially. I don't know. They'd probably be able to piece apart like the minerals and stuff in the water. Not me. I'm not, I'm not that good yet. Although I did, st I did start uh, trying to expand my flavor palette the other day by, uh, and th this probably doesn't seem like a way to do so, but in order to try to break apart the base flavor, like the quintessential flavors of my base spirits, I just decided to just start drinking them on the rocks. Just cool. And as they cool, cool off, cool down, cool off. No. As they get warmer, their flavor kind of changes a little bit. Ow, spikes in my foot. Oh goodness, what is this? One luck. A Ferum's tear. Just like Ikitomi, Ferum is a him, but her domain is that of movement and mutation. Legend says that's because she's chasing after her love, Sahil, who is forever fleeing her, despairing of ever catching up with Sahil. Ferum sometimes lets a tear fall as she passes by. They say that these tears are imbued with the power of the him they came from. So, with a single tear, it would be possible to mutate almost anything. Change a bud into a root. For example, we're so lucky to have found one, right? Well, let's get back to the bud to see if the legend is true. All right, it's mine now. I got a Ferrum's tier. Team unlocked for Rem. Oh goodness, what do we got going on here? Astro's family has already been there a few times in Mexico, and you're going for your cousin's wedding, so they'll keep me in the loop. Yeah, I'm sure your cousin would know what water is good to drink or not, or any liquids for that matter. You may find more than just water, or perhaps there's something mixed in the water. Who knows? This in the Mythalus, is the Hymn of Ferrum, a blazing ball of fire in the sky above. It is said, oh, I can't see from over here. Let's go, let's go this way. Read it, read it yourself if you want to. Is that working? There we go. Read it, let's, let's read it all together, shall we? A blazing ball of fire in the sky above. It is said that Ferrum is responsible for bringing light to the living, a genuine mother nature. She is the sun enabling life to grow wherever she goes, moving ceaselessly across the skies. Not a day goes by when her blessing is not felt. Her presence is seen in the blooming of a flower, the birth of a child, or the warmth of a sunny day all of them being only so many manifestations of Ferrum's power. And if there is one being above all others who inspires poets to write their verses, then it is she. Indeed, her heart burns ever with a love that never dies. However, the object of her burning passion, Sahil, never ceases to flee her. In the dance of their eternal course across the heavens, some see the cycle of day and night, and others see that of the seasons, and still, others see it as the cycle of life and death. However, whatever their opinion may be on the matter, everybody agrees that the two beings shall never, ever be reunited. It must be so for the cycle of life to go on, or else the world will burn. Everybody will die. That is all. I can go back with the start button. There we go. Um, is there anything to find over here? Oh, look at this. Another checkpoint. I guess I have to continue forward. There, There is no other choice. This is the way of the Pinkapu. Hey, the little grubby dude. Uh, you're the... Mm, I forget your name already. I don't know what they call... H Hanagi? Hanagi. I believe it's the Hanagi. If I got that right. Oh! Shucks. I've fallen. And now I cannot get up. I have to... No! Shit! Okay, that's fine. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. Okay, okay. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey, what's going on? I am, like... I am so used to the controls of Hollow Knight because it was the last platform I played in the last in the last month. And I'm like, oh my god, where's my dash ability? Why can't I go faster? Why can't I bounce on my enemies? I don't know. Oh goodness. I'm gonna take this thing and mutate a seed. I'm gonna bring the seeds to life. I'm gonna make flowers bloom every single day. Because that's what we are here. We're a force of good nature here. I mean it's all nature so far. That's beautiful. Nature is beautiful, or so they say. Oh, this is a different hole than I walked into? Oh, this is the same hole, but I guess I can go back to different checkpoints and respawn from there. That makes sense. All right, now I will walk into this convenient cutscene. I present to you... Seed of Ferrum. Now, please. Following his new friend's advice, Hankapu poured Ferrum's tear on the bud. I put it on the bud. I'm gonna put a seed on the bud. Oh, yeah. Now that's a nice... Oh, look at that. I grew. It's now... Imagine his surprise <gasps> when the bud began to twist and grow, reaching a staggering height. 
Look at it go! He's like, Pankapu's like, I was just born. I've never seen something grow that shape and size. That's the biggest damn tree I've ever seen. Oh, you are a magic spider. You look like an arachnid to me. Thank you, Chi. We appreciate you. I appreciate you. Pankapu probably does. However, I have no proof. Pankapu has not yet spoken. Pankapu chooses the vow of silence. What is this? I don't want to touch it yet. I'm going to move on. Nope, that seems important. Just kidding. I'm going to whack it with my... <laughs> Alright then. A lutonite fragment. You found a lutonite fragment. Thank you for repeating it twice. This mystical artifact is a vessel containing life force. By collecting together four of them, you can make a complete lutonite... <laughs> Lutonite, allowing Pankapu to increase his maximum overall HP. Literally, heart container. Love that. Love that indeed. I am not going to get whacked by the evil purple things. That seems to be the thing in this. Like, if it's purple, it's probably bad. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, that, that, that seems to be a common theme here. If it's purple, I should not touch it. Unless there are more. Honestly, I have not seen a single thing that's purple in this that is not evil. So far. I mean, these little guys here are, like, kind of, like, blue, but they've got, like, the little pink on top. It's kind of reflecting off of it and whatnot. You know, it's kind of, it's kind of purple-ish. Some would say it is so black, it is purple. Although, I've never quite seen such a color. Although, to be perfectly honest, technically, oh, goodness. Ugh, technically speaking, if something is too purple, it will breach into the ultraviolet range, which we can't see. So, technically, if you go so purple, if you go so ultraviolet, you become invisible. Does that mean you become black, in a sense? Because... There is no color? I don't know. Astro asks if I have Minecraft. I do have Minecraft. I love Minecraft. Although I usually- Shice! Although I- Okay, I'm just gonna hurt myself the whole way down. That's fine. I do have Minecraft. I don't play a lot of vanilla Minecraft, though. I usually do heavily modded stuff. And I'll actually be playing some Minecraft on Friday. Come to think of it, now that the topic is brought up, there's a- There's a- The mod pack that I play was created by somebody who goes by Econ Brony, who is a part of a community called Aura Fury, and I kind of reconnected with the community a little while ago. They're having a whole watch-a-thon. So, and, um, I don't remember if that starts this week- Oh, it starts- I think it starts tomorrow, actually. The whole watch-a-thon itself, where a bunch of co content creators in the community and whatnot just kind of do streams and whatnot, and they pass it off to each other and whatnot. YouTube videos, Twitch videos, all different types of games and whatnot, including but not limited to the games that they play on the Aura Fury community. I am going to play Minecraft, the mod pack. It's literally the only Minecraft I ever play and have been playing for, like, the past, like, four years on the same world because... It's a, it's a, it's a very, it's a very tech-intensive thing. I love stuff like that. It's very, very complicated, and I like complicated things. Like Bravewood. Asterisk is not means light isn't touching, which means you won't appear in the field of people's vision. That's true. So it's not, not technically black in this case. You can't be so black as purple, at least not from what I've seen. Here we are in the verdant forest. We just need to cross it to get to Ohidi's house. All right. Thanks, Chi. Appreciate that. Thank you. you scared the shit out of me. You're scaring me. Uh, can I go down here? Ooh, a secret passageway. That's nice. Didn't know I could do that. I am going to try to jump this. I did. I worked, but then I hurt myself. That was cool. Did I get anything cool from this? Have I gained anything of interest? Oh, oh, new, new secret passage. Oh, it was just another way around. That's... That's cool. That's cool, I guess. I have no benefit to that. Oh, marshmallow platforms go away after you step on them because your feet are too sweaty and it's causing them to dissolve. Or at least that's my current working hypothesis. I look forward to seeing how this pans out later. With the power of my sweaty feet, nothing can stop us. There is very clearly a passageway here. Oh, I got a thing. I heard a little bling, and I don't know what that means. I am unsure. No, stop. Blob. 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 You know, actually, these enemies remind me of two games. One being a game called World of Goo, where, like, I, I want to say it's like a puzzle game where you try to, like, use goo to, like, solve puzzles that's why it's a puzzle game and the other one is a game called de blob and the de and de blob was about painting an otherwise grayscale city and bringing it back to life because oppression takes the form of grayscale so that's why everybody in the past apparently was suffering because there was no color everybody knows before the age of colored television color didn't exist everybody knows that can you hear weeping pankapu let's go and check it out okay i believe it oh it's Ohidi! What's going on? What are you doing so far from your place? <laughs> Is that you, Chi? What are you doing here? The Hyanagis, they're destroying everything. My house, my Mujin friends. There's nothing left. <laughs> so 
I left. But they're everywhere. I don't know what to do. Poor OHD. But look, here's Penkapu. He's a dream keeper. He was sent by Ikatomi to especially to save you. Save me? There's nothing left to save. The Hyanagis took everything. My friends, the Munchens have disappeared. What's the good of helping me if I end up on my own? It's useless. It's too late. It's hopeless. I am without any happiness. Without my Munchens, I'll never be happy again. That's quitter talk. Leave me alone. My sadness. Just go. I am going to do exactly that. Just as you asked me to. Be careful what you wish for, because you just might get it. Poor Ohidi. He's not at his best. He's usually so happy and full of beans. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> He's usually full of beans? I love beans. If only we could manage to find his budget friends. He would get his hope back and would let us help him. You don't know what munchins are. I forgot you're new here. You were just born, and you were born naked. Yeah, I watched that cutscene. Munchins are spirits that you find all over Omnia. Legend says that they grow out of the hope of the inhabitants from another world. That would explain their happiness and their eternality. Eternally carefree attitude. I'll show you a carefree attitude, you talking spider. However, don't talk back to me, bitch. They're surrounded by a special magic that makes them invisible to most people. You, for example, still can't see them. But never fear, Penkapu. Chi is here. And I won't be beaten by impossible. Nuh uh, not me. You can take the impossibility and shove it right up your orifice. Which I'm sure you don't have, because this is a children's game, potentially. <laughs> There's an item I know which should solve our problem. Mew Shard. I know where you can get a hold of one. On the other hand, I am warning you, you'll need to climb. It's right at the top of Peppu's treetops. It's going to be difficult, but the reward will be worth the effort. Thanks, dude. I appreciate you talking, Spider. Astro says it was cool seeing you, but some friends want you to play with them tonight. Play with your friends. Your friends need to be played with. If you don't play with your friends, your friends will surely play with you. Which sounds positive in this case, but alas, playing isn't asymmetrical. You never know what might happen the other way around. And yo, what's up, Corsman? How you doing? How you doing, bro? What is this big red crystal? I believe with the power of friendship that I will break this crystal. And friendship takes many forms, and apparently I do not have the right one. Friendship does not take the form of a slashing sword today. Oh, you little bastard. I'm going to kill you. Nope, I can't go that way. That's fine. And I can't do anything with you. Nope. Oh, dear. Hi there. Oh, wait. I have a, I have a shield. <laughs> what is this game? This game is a game... This game is a game called Penkapu. It was a game that I kickstarted a hot minute ago. But apparently it's like... It's gone beyond just the Kickstarterness of it all. It's on, like, the Switch now, and I'm playing it on Steam now. Some platformer about being in a child's dream. Apparently not a nightmare. However, there are definitely nightmares occurring here. I am fighting the nightmares, and the nightmares take the color of dark, evil, goo creatures. Apparently. And there seems to be more happening here than I'm aware of, but alas, don't know. Eddie, who's it? Hi there. See, look. Observe the small little blobs. They look like... Honestly, they kind of look like... Oil. But like, blue oil. But not necessarily. What do they kind of look? They kind of remind me of molasses. They're so big, flabby, and jiggly. Oh, hello. You're quite the opposite. Oh, but you are kind of slimy. You pop into a little ball of goo. And uh, that's truly unfortunate. <laughs> I also... They kind of... They inch like inchworms. They've got that like a... Uh, Kind of, kind of walking to them. They inch, like inchworms. It's quite disturbing. I don't think I've ever seen something that gelatinous move in such a way. Although I have, I just can't recall where. This is this is not totally unfamiliar. Now that I think about it, why y'all gotta hang on the ground like that? I need to walk here. Don't you know that the floor is lava? Get off the ground! Stupid Kyanagi. You don't even know. You don't even know. Can I, can I, what are these creatures called? Do they have names? Aegises. Oh. That's what the different colors mean. I am the warrior Penkapu, and apparently I have three different Aegises. Three different forms. And I don't even know what a Nebula is. And I have Braveries. I don't even know. Okay, this is my, this is the quest that I'm on. I'm gonna get Mio's shard, because Mio is sad. And Mio should be happy. Got items, got tears. This is my map. Uh, get mem memoliths. Gloaming? Gloaming? I don't know. Unlock all the memolith fragments for this arc to see the sequence. Don't know what that is. Uh, I have enemies? Can I? Do I have like an index of enemies? 
I thought surely. Okay, I have apparently fought absolutely no enemies, which is shocking because I could have sworn that I have. Oh well. Oh, no, 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 this is fine. I am okay with all of this. This is fine. Um, I will, I will close this now. This is fine. This is fine. Checkpoint on the- Oh dear, oh dear, oh. Oh, this is fine. This is okay. I like these little carousels. Oh, what is the point of these- I don't understand what the point of these platforms are. It's just so we can ride around and pretend that we're young again. Oh dear, look at that. Oh, hi there. Oh, there was nothing in there. How unfortunate. <laughs> and the purple spikes strike again. I can- Oh dear, that wasn't- No, 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 no. Stay on the platform. Patience. 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 And then we move on. Slash in the air to gain more air time. That's a little trick I taught myself. I don't know if the game will ever teach me that, but I figured it out. I figured it out. Oh, slash. Oopsie. And then I'll y'all. Oh, don't touch. Oh, I see the spikes. Oh, I see the spikes. I see the spikes. Oh, shit. And I uh, fell to the ground. Whoops. Oh, dear. I can't take much more damage or else the dream will fade. The nightmares will take in and... Oh, and I will die. Okay, well, I don't know what the... I don't technically know what the consequences of dying are yet. I don't really want to find them out, but I feel like I'm very close. I'll go to the checkpoint and then I'll kill myself. Just to see what it feels like. Oh, I'm on full health. Well... It's a lot harder to commit suicide in the dreamscape than I was originally anticipating. <laughs> Gasp. Oh, hi. Oh, hey, all you. Hey, how y'all doing? Hey, thanks for coming out tonight. Uh, keep your keep your spit to yourself, please. Um, I think it'll be everybody will be happier that way. Oh, I've fallen. And I... What is the point of that? What's the point of that? I don't understand that. Why do I need to go backwards? There must be, like... There must be some utility to moving backwards quickly. Otherwise, I don't know why that path is there. I guess I have to play the game more. Now, note, I will not be doing a complete full series of this game. In particular, this is part of my indie game stuff and whatnot. So, I'm going to play for like an hour or two, and then that'll just be it for the night. And then, if it's if it was enjoyable, if it seems interesting, then, I don't know, I'll come back to it. But, uh, now I'm going to leave that for... There are a lot of games, a lot of games that I want to play. So I will leave it up to the world, the internet at large, and the folks that I call my friends and acquaintances and those who I have not yet get gotten the opportunity to assign a title to yet. I'll let them decide. Let people decide. Or like, just, just like, I'll, I'll tell, I'll tell Anna to remind me that I should. Oh dear, what is this? Oh, I don't like this. I'm just going to keep walking. Yeah, I'm just going to walk through. Yeah, that wasn't difficult. And then I'm healed again. There we go. Easy. Easy mode. Uh oh, I'm afraid these crystal pla- That was too quick to read. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just spoke really, really fast. I hope you don't mind. What? Oh. Ouch, looks like your armor was indeed too heavy. Indeed. I I definitely would have known that if, if I was able to read the text that you were saying to me. Definitely. Definitely indeed. Oh, don't touch that. Oh, don't touch that. Or that. Hey, yo. Bye-bye. I don't know how I can kill you yet. Or maybe I don't need to kill you. Maybe this is this game is all about friendship and finding the it's all about the friends we made along the way and not the journey. Maybe. Kinkapu? Is that what you teach these children's? Children's. Oh dear. Deary dearest me. Okay, no. Fading marshmallow platforms, yet again. They take their sweet old time to come back. It's like they expect me to get it on the first try or something, as if these are one of the easier levels, the newer ones, for new players. Ha! Huh, not me. There was something over there. I, I don't know whether or not it's advantageous to be yet. Oh, shoot! I have fallen. Oh, dear. Oh, my. Oh, oh. That was fine. Oh, I totally did it. No, don't hurt me. Nope, that's fine. Oh, what? Now, why would you make that so easily accessible? Only for it to kill me. That is so unfortunate. No, 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 don't fall. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, my. Okay, can I heal here? No! Okay, time to see what happens when I die! Probably. Maybe. Unless I'm that good at video games, which I know I'm not. Hey there, pal. Hey, hey, slice. Slice. Oh, the enemies seem to respawn. That's unfortunate. Oh, okay. Hi there, and welcome back to platform number four. I haven't been counting. I don't know what number platform that is. What is this thing? Okay. <laughs> ah! Bye! Come, come back again soon? Thank you. Appreciate that. Oh! Anna has placed a small little lychee candy on my desk. She went to Disney World recently and she brought back candy for me. This is a lychee sour candy. It's lychee on the outside, sour on the inside. What are you 
swanky, huh? The lychee candy, not anything else. I, I forgot what voice I had for this guy. Excuse me. Mira doesn't do things by halves. We're talking about the mirror him who reigns at the top of Omnia. Nobody knows exactly what he does. We just know that his power is so great that some places, like this one, are imbued with his power. Take this Mio shard and let its power wash over you. Thanks to this, you should now be able to direct, detect the presence of mudgeons around you. Oh, those must be the little guys. I found Mio shard. Quick, somebody call a doctor. I don't know why. Just call the doctor. I need to inform them of my achievements. You're in luck. Look over there. A mudgeon. Ha! Made you look. I got you. Didn't I? No, just kidding. I stabbed it. And <laughs> now it's happy. It's like, yes, please. Stab me and free me from my mortal chains. You found a mudgeon. It's in pain. Not anymore. These little creatures are Okiti's best friends and the bringers of hope. When the Hyan Nagis appeared, they were scattered across all of Omnia. Help them by finding them help them by finding them throughout the different levels you explore. There are 100 mudgeons per chapter, and for every 25, Pankapu gets a Lutonite fragment. Legend says that when you collect them all, hope will be reborn into Omnia. I am not doing that. Not today. Well done, Pankapu. Let's go back and see Ohiti now. Okay, I will do so. Aha! <laughs> Look, I found the little guy. There's a one out of 100 in this chapter. Oh, get it? Because it's a storybook. I understand that now. I have a feeling I need to go here. It is it is glowing. And everybody knows glowing stages are the stages I want to go to. Oh, okay. So it seems the reason for that is I will be going back to levels every once in a while. It's not like I will go to a level and never come back. If I want to collect things and whatnot. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Now that I can see the mudgeons, I feel like I can find them that... Oh, hello! I got you! I knew it! I knew you'd be waiting for me down here. You cute little will-o'-the-whispers. Whatever you are. <gasps> Another one! Enticing. I'm... I love this. I love collecting small creatures. I usually love collect collectible games like this, so I will do... I will put in my absolute best efforts into collecting all the mudgeons. For these mudgeons belong to the people. And I must return them back to the people. Oh, look, I found another. This is so easy. This game is so easy. What a pleasant game. I have no idea what this is rated. I assume it's rated well, highly. Actually, I think I, I looked, I, I googled it before I played it, and I believe it's a 7 out of 10 rated. Hi, what's up? Hey, oh, she's taking my measurements again. I have shorter I apparently have shorter shoulders than my fiance does. Well, she also measured my torso earlier, and apparently, for those interested, yes, I'm a B cup. Thank you. We might still bye be bye. an A, actually. Okay, apparently, according to her, the one with yeah. boobs in the house, I may still be an A. I don't know. It was a 34 compared to a 35. No, that, that, that's an A. Okay, Anna says I'm an A now. It has been decided. I have not yet... Well, I have not worn a bra recently. You're a 34 So I haven't a. tried. 34A. That's my cup size. If anybody would like to buy me bras, my favorite color is blue, and I like the royal ones. Oh, Hedy, we're back! I told you to leave me alone. You want us to leave you alone? But Pankapu brought you something that should put a smile on your face. I don't know how I got here with this voice, and I am not going to apologize for it. A mudgeon! But how'd you do it? Where'd you find it? That's a long story. The main thing is that Pankapu managed to rescue one of your friends. So be thankful and pay up. Now that Pankapu has proved to you that he's real, he's a real, honest-to-goodness dreamkeeper, and he's managed to dry your tears, will you let him help you? Of course. The Mudgeon Village has been invaded by the Hyanagis. A gigantic monster, Tyroot, has even taken over my house. We have to get him out of there for, for, there for Pepu to become peaceful once more. If you agree to help me, I'll take you there. I'll open the path for you. What if I say no? I have no choice. I have no choice. Oh, what are you going to do? Ah! Nice. Here we are. By going straight on, you can find the Mudgeon Mirror. And before we go, I just want to thank you, Pankapu. Why does everyone talk so fast in this game? Oh, my God. Whoa! Oh, what is this? Who is that? Wait, who is that? Was I used to be human? Was that what that implied? I have unlocked the Whirling Blade. Well done. You've unlocked Whirling Blade. Again, we tell you twice just to make sure you got it the second time. Pankapu can now throw his sword when you press Yi, dealing great damage to enemies at range. Whirling Blade even destroys any projectiles in its path. Whirling Blade costs one anima point. You only need one 
You only get one. So use it wisely. Anima points. Panku Apu now has Panka Apu now has Anima points bar. These points allow him to use special abilities by using Yi. Each of these actions costs a certain number of points. Each time he blocks an enemy with his shield, Penkapu gets some of his Anima points back. To make sure you never run out, think about alternating regularly between Ataku and Defensive. My words, not theirs. And there we go. Thanks to this new power, you'll be able to beat enemies that you were never able to take out before. Yes, like those stump creatures. Say, Pinkapu, can I ask you one last thing? There's still loads of munches to say. So if you meet any there in your adventures, could you take care of them, please? I'm... Oh, this was still our young one. I'm sure they'll reward you. Yes, I changed my voice for a little bit. I'm basically a god. Well... Pekapu, Guardian of Munchins. That sounds good. I like that. We should call you that more often. I'll shorten it to PGM, a.k.a. Pugum. Oh, peace out, y'all. All right. Bye, then. Couldn't even say goodbye. I'm going to defeat that little stump up there because I could use my whirling blade, blade to attract, attack, attract from afar. Hey, watch this little guy. Oh, I have a range on it. Oh, okay. So if I do that, I gain my points back. Oh, goodness gracious. I beat it. Do I get a mudgeon? Excellent! Oh, hi there. Whack. <laughs> You're so easy now that I've learned to take my sword out of my hands for once. Oh, nice. Oh, dear. Oh, bye then. Bye, Felicia. You get to fall today. Nope, stop. I meant to click this button. Ha <laughs> ha! You are mere mortal! Hey, what's up? Oh, can't do that. Oh, dear. Uh, whack? No. Okay, that's fine. Mm. I don't want to do attack or defense. Oh, goodness. Hey, hey, whack me. Oh! Finally! I have succumbed to the perils of death. And, um, it looked like my mudgeon count may have gone down. Did I lose a mudgeon? I think I might actually lose the mudgeons if I die. Let's check. Do I still have this little guy up here? I wonder. No, stop. Oh, I lost him! Yeah, okay. Oh, I see. So I have to get to the checkpoints in order to save my mudgeon progress. Hi. Nope. Too close? That's okay. I understand that you have a personal bubble, which I can only pop from afar. See? It's a strategy game. Oh, stop that. Oh, I wanted to shield. 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 Shield powers activate. Go for it. Go for it. Yes. Now you're dead. You're dead now. Everybody knows succumbing to the darkness is how we feast. Or something like that. Yeah! Yeah, 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 Feel the power of my Aegis. Oh, don't hit me. That's fine. That's fine. Don't hit me. Don't touch me or I'm gonna hurt you. I'm gonna hurt you anyway. Everybody knows that. You're an enemy in this game. You have absolutely no mercy for me. Oh, see, I don't like it when you do that. Wait a minute, I can do that. No! Oh! Oh, my heart. I'm dead now. I'm going to crunch into this lychee candy, so it's about to make a sound effect. Mmm. It's sour on the inside. Sweet on the outside. Just like I was trying to think of something else that is the same. What else is sweet on the outside, sour on the inside? I don't know. Sour, sweet, gone. Sour, sweet, gone, says Anna. That is, um, that is, um, Sour Patch Kids. Oh. Yeah, Sour Patch Kid. It actually makes sense. Yeah, that makes total sense. Hey, yo. <laughs> yeah! Oh, I can hit you twice with this thing with my little boomerang attack. Yeah. At least that's how I do it. Hey, what's up? Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, I am very low. Okay, this is fine. I have a way to take care of you. No, stop! I have a way to take care of you people. No, stop. Whoa! Okay, no, stop. No, why was that? Mm, he takes so much enemy. He takes so many hits to die. All right, Mudgeon, you're going to have to wait. I will come back for you when I, when I am a man and not just a boy. I am merely a boy. I know nothing of this world, unfortunately. Oh, look, if I try to use my power when I'm not able to, I start to electrify myself. Oh, goodness gracious. I'd rather you not do that. You are not appreciated. Like, at all. Like, not even remotely appreciated. Oh, I can do that and kill them all at once. Wow. Oh, does it really take one whirling blade? Wow. That's incredible. 
I also like, at least for these enemies, like, I can just keep shielding. Like, there's nothing stopping me. Yeah. Oh, I have to wait. That's what got me the last time. I need to wait for my thing to come back before I can... Before I can shield again? That seems a little... I don't, I don't know if I like that. Oh, goodness gracious. That's kind of interesting. Because I throw my sword, but I can't use my shield while my sword is out. Mm, I don't know about that. Nope. Don't know about that one. Oh, goodness. Hi. Hi. Bye. Okay. That's fine. We're okay. Oh, I have to... I don't know what that was about. I see now, though. Different areas allow me... To, I can get to different areas by taking different routes in the level. I... I want to test that hypothesis. I'm going to go back here to the crossway garden and see if I can go find a way to the left, I guess? If I just go this way... No, okay, that's not how that works. But I know there was areas I couldn't get to previously. Interesting. Oh. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I wonder, do I have to go back and get that seed again? Because that's, that's, that's unfortunate if I have to. That's, that's, I don't like that. No, stop. Don't touch, don't touch me! To be fair, I should really stop telling the enemies not to touch me. By that point, they have already touched me. And now, they must pay the price. Okay, so I could go that way again. I don't remember what these previous area was like. Maybe I'll unlock another area. Ouch. Sorry. Sorry, pink pink poo pink pee pink 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 poo Can I go this way? Nope. Probably should have remembered that from last time. There must be another passageway. There must be. I have full faith that the game would not lead me astray like that. Game logic, don't fail me now. Don't touch. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, you know, I don't know if I ever went this direction. Nope, okay, just a wall. That's fine, it's just a wall. I don't try to concern myself with walls. Building barriers, building walls keeps people out. No, I want to feel people in. I want to feel the warmth. Hello, world. Give me your stones. Thank you, world. I've got the checkpoint of a lifetime. There is only one per lifetime. Hi there. I'm going to go up and up. Grab this red thing and then move along. Yes, it's exactly how the world works. Don't worry about your health bar. Just jump onto flying mushrooms. Oh, I see. This child is high off their mind. <laughs> Obviously. Okay, so now... Oh, could I have jumped up there? Nah, probably not. I am not going to worry about it. Run along now. Run along, everybody. Just just don't bother me anymore. Oh, sorry about that. Didn't mean to whack you. I apologize. Sorry, little black creatures. I don't do this because I hate you. I do this because I loathe you. Also, in this particular stage, it was saying that there were those gold little mudgeons, none of the blue ones. So maybe I just, I don't have the ability yet to see them. That's disappointing. I can go this way, and I go up here. Oh, but that was the way I went previously. Wasn't it? Oh, what's down here? Oh, hi. Oh, of course. But, of course, there was absolutely nothing down here for me to find. Incredible. No, stop. Come back. No. I'm all out of platform. So lost without it. Please come back. Thank you. I appreciate you coming back to me. I was doing what? I was so lost. But now I'm free. I was lost until you set me free. Now I can think for myself. Whoa. Where'd you come from? Little black blob of doom. Bye bye. See ya. Ha. See ya. Ooh, excuse me. So is there like a special area to go <gasps> go to? Not there. Can I walk this way? No. How about the other way? No. Oh, I forgot I can do this. Completely forgot I could do that. Can't go that way either. Uh, climb up the walls. Up the walls. Up the walls. Up the walls! Grab more red stuff. And... Slash! Oh, I don't like you. Enough of that. I have the power of the whirly gig now. Alright, if there was another way to go, I did not see it. I will just move onward then. To the blue area. White path. As opposed to the purple path. Oh, look at this. This is nice. What is this? Here we are at Mudgeon Mere. Oh, is it? Oh, his house can't be far away. Be careful you don't fall in the anima. With such a concentrated dose, who knows what will happen to you? I talked way too fast for you to read it. Oh, this is cute. Is this cheese? Is this your house? This looks like your house. Can I break it? No? Okay. I will fall in the anima. 
Ouch. To be fair, they told me not to fall in. And I fell in. So that's kind of my fault. I was definitely asking for that. These are cool looking platforms. They're like bongo drums. It's a shame that like when I step on them, they don't like actually bongo. Oh, that's unfortunate. What is that? No, thanks. Your color scheme is purple. Must mean you're dangerous. I know that now because of your color scheme, not because of the fact that you literally hurt me when I stepped on you. That had nothing to do with it. This observation was completely separate from that. And I will not let anyone tell me otherwise. Oh, little mudgeon. And I can kill you all with one fell swoop. Don't think I won't do it again, because I will. Oh. Now I have to get the mudgeon again. I didn't know that. That is so unforgiving. Note to self, if I fall, I should not move afterwards before completely taking a look at my surroundings. This enema is totally one-shot kill. I don't like that. TPK, total player kill. Total party kill, sometimes. That's total party kill. That's what TPK is. The whole party dies. But the party can't die. Or can it? Can the party die? The party can die. The party most certainly can die. I don't want it to die, but it can. So remember, eat your greens and vegetables. Then you won't die. Although, every, you know what they say. 100% of people who drink dihydrogen monoxide will perish in their lifetimes. It's a fact. Dihydrogen monoxide is water. Everybody who has ever drank water in their life has died. How does that make you feel? It scares me. I, I have I drank water many times in my life, so if that's just the way is that just the plan of the world, then I guess I have to I have to give in. Who am I to fight with what the makers have ordained for me? Since birth, I was destined to live. But also destined to die. Oh, this is cute. Little platforms that disappear when I walk away. <laughs> like my imaginary friends. Oh, what is this? I want to be down here with you. Oh! I see the danger now. I don't know why I did... I, I don't know why I died. I don't know how I died. I do know how I died. I fell into the anima. I should walk down this way. Oh, look! Hidden platforms. I honestly should... No! 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 Okay, this is fine. I can take care of these guys. <laughs> I thought I would fall again. That'd be two little mudgeons that I would be forgetting. No! No, no, no! Okay. That was good. Didn't realize that there were three in this one area. That's pretty cool. Was there one up there? It looked like there would have been. You know, I actually kind of like the- I like the music this game. It's very somber. It's nothing too crazy. Although, I guess I haven't fought a boss yet. I wonder if I will. I wonder if I'll have enough time to fight the boss at the end. Actually, I'm getting pretty close. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I'm like an hour in. I will totally have time to fight the boss. I cannot get down there. Oh, dear. Oh, no. I, I'm not gonna bother. I definitely can't get down there. Hi there, what is this? Tell me more, Chi. Look, Megabu, a sun heel seed. This plant is crystallized anima concentrate. It contains so much anima that it releases it constantly. If you stay too close to a seed like this, your anima points will gradually recharge. When you come across one, I suggest you take the opportunity to fully recharge. Set heal. I have unlocked set heal. And my anima points are at full. Walk along. Oh, hi. Oh, we're moving on this little... This kind of looks like a watermelon. Yeah. Now you did. Oh, another one? I was prepared for this. All right. Oh, oh, no, no, no. I was not prepared for that. Oh, hi. I'm prepared for this. There we go. Oh, don't I. Don't I. Oh. Oh, they fall into the water. I understand now. This is, this is not. That would have been not so good. But I prevailed. Hey, uh, oh, oh, you go down. Why? Why? Why do you go down? Why? Why do you go? No, 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 no. Ah, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, I have fallen, and I cannot get up it anymore. But I'm back to life now. Now nothing could harm me. I am the mighty Pankupu. I'm okay. I am okay. I am okay. I am a powerful warrior. I will conquer the dreamscape. I 
will defeat Tyrat or whatever the tree's name was. I feel like it was an evil tree. Maybe it wasn't even an evil tree. Maybe I was just like assuming that based off of its name. Tyroot? Tyroot. I imagine it's an evil tree. No, it's definitely an evil tree. It, it, it definitely looked like a tree. If that wasn't a tree, then I don't even know what it is. Actually, it did kind of look... I did say turnip originally. It could still be a turnip, and I might never know. Lame, we can't get any further. Lame. If only we had a boat, we could sail our way through. Whoa, you move around creepily. Perhaps if we go this way, we'll find something. Let's go and see. Perhaps we shall. Hello, anything to the left? There's nothing ever to the left. This is a right side scroller. You'll never find anything to the left if you go with that attitude. <laughs> All right. I've made it through, but can I go left? The answer is no, we do not want you to go to the left. This is a rightward facing game. The liberal left don't want you to know about it. This one is for the right wing conservatives out there. Or whatever, I don't know. Whatever politics you want. Oh, did I? I did not realize there was a mudgeon out there. Wow, crazy. Funny how the world works like that. First you think you're saving the world, and then you're collecting little guys. Achievement unlocked, gelatin. I am gonna take a wild guess that these things are called gelatins. And if I defeat these spider things, I will eventually gain the achievement of killing them. That would be my proof of besting these interesting bat-like lightning creature things. I wanna go down here. That was not cool. Oh, I guess it was. That's fine. There was probably a mudgeon up there, wasn't there? I wouldn't know. But I won't know I won't know now. Boat? Boat? Oh. Hidden platform. Duh. There we go. See that's not difficult. Oh dear. This is fine. Oh hi. Oh. Oh I'm gonna take a leap of faith. Leap of faith. Yeah, leap of faith. I knew that it would work out in my best interest if I just jumped down into the anima pool. Of course. Just trust your instincts. When you see a mudgeon, a mudgeon would never float on something that could kill you. Never. Oh dear. Oh, oh god. But you very well could fall into something that'll kill you, so be careful. <laughs> Do my ears deceive me, or did I die? It does not. You are dead. Oh good. Oh my god. On the bright side, I don't think I have lives. I can die as much as I want to. Because in the dreamscape, all survive indefinitely. And luckily it doesn't seem like... I was gonna say, it doesn't seem like anybody's suffering. So re dying over and over again doesn't really seem like that bad a, a deal in this case. However, there are nightmarish creatures that have taken over the world as we know it. Or as we knew it. So maybe immortality is not, is not really what we're after here. Oh, maybe, maybe the evil character of this game, the main evil character, is actually after immortality. That'd be so cool. And so expected. Oh, look at that, imagine. Eee. No, oh, oh, goodness gracious. I thought that was it. Oh. Well, I could go right, or I could go up. So I'm gonna go up, because I think... No. Oh, dear. I will wait. There's probably just another mudgeon up there. Actually, I am willing to bet there is a mudgeon up there. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. There we go. There he is. Oh, goodness, and I fall, but I'm okay. Looks like I'm winning $10 from myself. I was the only one in that bet, but that's okay. Nothing like a friendly gamble with oneself, you know? Like a, like taking a risk, being like, oh, like <laughs> taking a friendly gamble with oneself is being like, I shouldn't do this, but I'm gonna do it, whatever. Like nothing, nothing bad will happen. Can I jump on these? I can. Yeah, that, that's cool, I like that. Oh, goodness, there's something over there. Wait, but I want to go over there. Mudgeon? Yeah, dude. Hey, what's up, pals? Can you, you want to come closer? Yeah, come on a little closer. That's fine. Yeah, no, no, that's cool. Let's go come over here. I got a... I got an Aegis to show you. That's slang for my sword. Oh, do these bubbles pop? Oh, the bubbles pop! Oh, my goodness, the bubbles pop. I did not realize the bubbles popped like that. That's interesting. Well, you'd think you would let me know. All right, die, and then die, and then I get this, and then not so dead. Oh, hi. Uh, I can jump over that, right? Mm. No, stop. Oh, dear. Oh, my goodness. A slash. 
Yeah, there we go. That's what all it took. Just need to slash you. Oh goodness, I need to need a save point. Or I can just go down there and avoid conflict, right? I'll just jump around. Oh, save point. Easy. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Never been more easy in my life. What is this? Oh. Oh, an Itopian Forge. I didn't expect to find one here. Go towards her and let her power impregnate your Ikis. Conception occurs here in the dreamscape. Oh, my. What was that? Itopian Forge. You found an Itopian Forge. Who knew? These artifacts are used to permanently increase the weapon power of your Aegis. There are three types, one for each kind of weapon. Once it has been used, an Itopian Forge becomes inactive. Penkapu's basic sword damage has increased by 10 points. 10 points. I didn't even know what my base damage was. Can I see that? Can you feel the difference? Right now, your weapon is more powerful. Your damage has increased. Suffice to say that when you came across, come across an altar like that, you should definitely use it. And you know what? The forge also had an effect on me. Now, I'm even more annoying than before. I think I also got a new power. I'll tell you more down below. I'll tell you more in the comments down below. So feel free to check it out if you can. Down below where? Are we going to hell? Oh, down, down here. Why couldn't you just tell me now? The anticipation is truly killing me, G. You have no idea what this is doing to me. I literally cannot contain myself with how excited I am to find out more about what your new powers are. To be fair, I think you got a little more annoying. Oh, you can become a boat now, can't you? How advantageous for the plot. Incredible. Ta-da! I managed to transform myself into a boat. We don't need any rafts to get where we're going. We sail it. We sail it on the Queen Chi. The Queen Chi? Oh, like the SS Chi? The Queen Chi. All aboard, Swabies. Please keep your arms and legs inside the vessel at all times. Except for my arms and fingers and legs. They are the vessel. And we're off. No, no thanks. I'll go back this way. That's fine. I don't, I don't, want, anything, I don't want any part of this. Oh, can't go into the hole? Can't go in the hole. Was I here before? Was I already in a hole? I don't recall being in a hole, actually. Come to think of it. Have I been in here already? Is there a mudgeon in here? How did I get here? How did I get here? Where the heck am I? Um. <laughs> I guess I'm not boarding the SSG anytime soon. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just gonna go the other direction. That's fine. Oh, did I get a thing? Oh, have I been here already? Actually, I think I was already here. Uh, gelato, gelato, gelato. Oh, those must be the big guys. Yeah, I think I've actually already been here. Oh, I was definitely already here. Why would you let me go back in that direction, you silly game? Yeah, I've been here already. Okay. Um. Interesting. Well, I'm gonna continue moving forward, and uh, I'll just let, wrap my way back around, right? Oh dear. Oh, not this stuff again. Oh, it's okay. I'm a pro now. I'm like, I got no pro. Oh dear. I should have just gone back the other way. That's what I get for trying to break the game. Oh, a mudgeon. Wait. Oh, I think I already got that mudgeon, though. I guess that makes sense, to be able to give me the opportunity to collect them again if I feel like going around and reliving the fun. Just like I did the first time. Incredible. Oh, I forgot there was a little platform. There. No, 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 no. Oh. This is going to take a lot less time if I just go backwards, so I'm just going to go backwards. Oh, it appears that I cannot go backwards. I cannot go back. Maybe? No, no, no. If I... If I slash my way... No, I cannot go backwards. I must go forward. They have completely locked me in my choice. This game does not forgive the way that I was hoping it would do. I thought this was supposed to be about a good dream, not a nightmare. Everybody knows that my real nightmare is replaying the same level in a video game over and over and over and over again. It's obvious. Is it not? Can you see the look of disdain and horror on my face? I'm suffering. No, stop! No, no! Oh my goodness! I clicked the wrong button! I keep trying to slash in the air to give myself some more air time, but if you click the Y button, you'll just soar into the ground like this. I didn't do that on purpose. 
I did that on purpose. That's what I did. I did it on purpose. I, I didn't mean to fall in like that. It was to give an example. That's what I was doing. Oh, we still may fight Tyroot yet. Who, I guess, his original name was Tyrone. But he's a tree. So everyone called him Tyroot. And Tyroot is just like, oh, you guys, you so, you tease me so. But deep down inside, Tyroot just wants to be called by the name given to him by his parents. But those, oh my goodness, I did it again. Ah, that's fine. Practice, they say, makes perfect. Per <laughs> practice makes perfect. But you know what else practice makes? More practice, if you keep failing. I mean, eventually, I guess it'll reach perfect, but I'm pretty sure the reaching of perfect is more like a logarithmic curve that will slowly but surely reach its, at reach its asymptote, but never actually reach there. But ad infinitum, they will. At some point. But we'll never actually see that. Mudgeon. Checkpoint. Oh, the bubble land again. I love the bubbles. I'm just gonna whack... I'm gonna whack these little things. Yeah, that's alright. You have nothing on me. If I defeat all of them, do I get a prize? I wonder. Prize? Give me my prize. Alright, there was no prize. Only pain. Welcome to the festival. Oh, okay. So I don't get my Aegis last when I'm in the air. That's unfortunate. No, I did not mean to do it that way. No, I'm ignoring you. I'm, I'm, ignoring, I'm ignoring you. I'm ignoring you. I don't like any of you. I'm walking away. Bye-bye. I'm going back to the, the Iconian Forge so I can think about what I've done in my past lives. And move on, I suppose. Oh, has my alarm... My phone's been up. That's weird. Somehow I just got... My phone is definitely on vibrate, and I definitely just heard it ring. I'm going crazy. On to the Queen Chi. Wait, what if I... What if I don't want to go? I could jump off. <laughs> All right, upwards. I am two spaces away from Tyroot, who I'm guessing, based off of the name, was originally named Tyrone. However, I have no way of knowing. Hang out of your armor, Pankabu. I will. I couldn't read it. It's too fast. I'm not a very fast reader. I'm gonna be honest there. Oh dear! Look at me getting hit by all these things. I have to do so much to survive. Oh, goodness gracious, will somebody save me from the monsters? It's me, Penkapu. Penkapu will save myself from the monsters. Penkapu will save himself from the monsters. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Now that was advantageous. The Mudges have something for you! Nice going! You found 25 Mudges in this chapter! To thank you, the Bringers of Hope are giving you a Lutonite fragment. How many fragments do I have? Can I tell? Uh, I'll check later. I have to make sure I catch the SS Queen. Alright, Queen S G um. Anyway. It's a game about dreams or something like that, probably. It's definitely about dreams. Oh no no no! I missed a little dude! I must die! I must die so that I can relive and save the Mudgeon. trying to turn my phone on the ringer mode. I could have sworn I keep hearing my, my alarm go off. Or my phone alarm. Phone alarm? No. Ringtone. That's what they call these things. I swear my phone was on silent. But alas. It's okay. Maybe I'm just hallucinating. I very well could be. Honestly, weird things have happened in this world. One time, I hallucinated watching clouds turn into hexagons. That was at a music concert. It was a very fun concert. I had a great time. Aside from the hexagonal clouds. But let's not worry about that. I've lived a full life so far. Sort of. At least I tell myself that. Still afraid of dying, though. Still afraid of dying. I don't remember who I was talking to about that the other day, but I was like, yeah, I'm afraid of death. And the other person was like, I'm not afraid of death. I was like, mm, that's good. You should keep with that. Hold on to that. Hold on to that while you can. Oh, are these... Oh, those platforms seem to want to, like, quiver for a little bit before moving on. Oh, this armor doesn't count for that stuff. Use my sword slash properly. That's how we get... Oh, I can shield. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I see. I can do this. Oh, hi there. No. Oh, I can't get... Oh, yes, I can. Oh, I totally can. Oh, my goodness gracious. I must keep moving along. That's fine. This is fine. I'm okay. No, I've died. And I've fallen to the ground. Or rather, what lies beneath the anima. 
which might be the ground, it might not be. It could just be the spiraling abyss of doom, as I always know it to be. Guard. Whack. Honestly, I don't have to fight you. I just have to, like, survive. Hi there. Hey. Oh, dear. There we go. This is fine. Oh, I did not jump in time for that. No, no, no! Why wouldn't you wait for me, you ungrateful spider? <laughs> I love that. She's just like, I lost most of my motor control in this form. You're just gonna have to catch up with me. Thanks, Chi. Appreciate that. Really, 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 really appreciate that. Alright, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Jump! And then hit? No, I wanted to jump and then hit. Alright, this is, this is okay. Yeah, I can't, I can't avoid it like that. Oh, I see. I was supposed to just continue moving onwards and not worry about it. There we go. A little jump slash attack. Jump slash! That's how we do it. That's how we do it around here. Oh, uh, invisible platform? Oh, now, why would you... Oh. Oh, see, that was, a that was a bad idea. I was like, oh, I'll go back there and I'll catch the next boat. But there was no next boat in this case. I was, I was incorrect. Yeah, luckily, no lives. Don't have to worry about it. I can just go back and try again. Gotcha. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, this is cool. I like that. I like that. That was cool. I like that. All these uh, uh, slightly disappearing platforms. There's so many of them. I am definitely in harm's way. Oh, hi there. Well, hello there. And I got the other mudgeons. There's four more left in this level. I wonder. I wonder, wonder, wonder if I can find more. Oh, goodness. No. Oh. Oh. That's fine. Don't chase after me. No, 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 no. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, goodness. I must chase after it. Okay, okay. Oh, you know what? I have a strange feeling that the, the, the sound that I'm hearing that I think is my ringtone is actually the game. I just think that there is a sound effect in this game that reminds me heavily of my ringtone. Or rather, my text tone. That's a little unfortunate. No, no, no! I don't want to die! Why? What? Can I block... How was I supposed to avoid that? What in the world? <laughs> that was interesting. The spikes were like at just the wrong level where I literally could not avoid them. Or maybe I should have gone over that. Could I have gone over them? Maybe that was a way of them telling me that I'm not supposed to go this way. Uh All right, then. I accept that one. I don't know what happened there, but I accept it. This is fine. Yeah, actually, I'm 100% I'm convinced that it is not my phone. <laughs> it's actually this game. It's like the, the bling sound, like bling, bling sound effect. It's kind of what. All right, there we go. Uh, and I kill you, and then I go across, and I grab you, and then I come back down, and what do I do about this? Oh, no, it's, I, I died, and then I... Okay, that didn't work. Um, oh, okay, now we're in sync. See, this is not a problem anymore. This I can keep up with. But, like, when I got there originally, that was not the case. Oh, wow, I could get both of them at once. Nice. No, I thought I could... Why couldn't I get up? Oh, I needed to jump on top of the stump that time. Sad. Thanks, Chi. Appreciate it. Can we go back? I want to go back the other way. Come on. Come on. Come on. Back the other way. Fine. You will. I wouldn't do that every day. No, you shouldn't. It's probably very bad for your back. I didn't know that boats could get even could even get sick sick. Well, Ohiti's house should be just in front of us now. About time. I don't know. Goodbye. Goodbye, you monster. Nah, you're a figment of my imagination. Maybe. Oh look, it's Ohiti's house, or is it Tyrone? I mean Tyroot. I don't know. Did it ding ding dong dong. Oh, hi, Ohiti. Hey, your house looks pretty purple. That usually means evil, but what do you say? Maybe it's just your style. Hey, Ohiti, you should think about doing a bit of gardening. You never told us you lived in a briar patch. But, but, the way to my house has been barred by this corrupted wall of thorns. We'll never get there with that thing in the way. Perhaps if Pankabu tried to slice them in half with his sword, he could clear a path for us. Maybe. Clearly that doesn't work. Clearly, that's not working. There must be some way of getting, rid of getting rid of it. Wait a minute. I can feel something. These thorns go deep into Pepu. They're getting their strength from somewhere 
far away from here. Yes, there's three briar hearts, which are absorbing anima in order to sustain this wall of thorns. As I understand it, if we get rid of three, three briar hearts, the wall should break down by all itse uh, itself? It should do, yeah. Well then, what are we waiting for? Show us the way, OET. As the thorns go down into the ground, the best thing to do would be to dig. Awesome! So let's have some kind of shovel knight then. Shovel knight? Okay. I better... I got something better than a shovel. I got my hands. My fists. What do you got? A new power? Oh, who is this man? Who are you? I'll never know. Earth charge. Congrats. You got... Can you guess what it is? I've already said it. Did you get it? It's Earth Charge. Congrats. Now a downwards dive attack, pressing Yi while jumping, means you can destroy cracked blocks of stone. Very handy for opening up new paths, just like in Hollow Knight. I've just given you some of my power, which you can use right now to perform an Earth Charge. Great, but how will that help us? It allows Penkapu to destroy blocks like the one he's standing on. Look up below. Whoa! It's caved in from beneath. Ooh. Go on, Pankapu, try out your earth charge so we can find these briar hearts. Okay. Jump when you're on top of the blocks and use Yi in mid air to open it up way through. Were there any in this direction, though? There were not. So, in mid air, frost down. There we go. Just like the Legend of Zelda. And many other games that I'm familiar with. Hi, what's up? This way. Let's go and destroy those briar hearts now. Oh, there is a cave. I walked right past the cave. Oh, nice. Oh, I see. These are different areas of the map. I honestly thought that there were, like, different, like, things to go to. Oh, well, that's cool, then. That's fine. Anyways, time to defeat a heart or something. Don't forget, you can throw your sword. I don't wanna. Oh, what's up, Moochie? Mo uh, Mudgeon. They're called Mudgeon. That's what they are. What's up, little... You put me in harm's way. All for a smile? Worth it. Oh, I should I should do this thing. There we go. I would happily go out of my way for a smile, honestly. Ooh, and I can heal myself here. Well, heal my anima powers, that is. Get all these bats out of the way. Oh, hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. I've come here to take your mudgeon from you. Don't know what you're using it for, but it's not really cool to be absorbing the power of others. Get your own power. Be a self-made, uh, enemy, I guess. Oh, there's another one up there. Oh, that's okay. Oh, dear. No, stop! This is fine. Yeah, that was fine. This was, this was okay. Zinc. Huh. Holy zinc oxide! Take a look at this! I'm burning! Oh, good. No, hi. Oh, hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, what's up? If I use my sword, I can get up. Yes! Oh, this seems dangerous. Well, this seems like a dangerous predicament. Oh my god, why did I go down into it? It's okay. I just really, really wanted to hug a thorn. Oh, all the way back here again? Oh my goodness, there was no checkpoint. There was no checkpoint! Oh my goodness! It's fine. Very interesting. This is fine. This is fine. Don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just collect, collect mudgeon, make profit. Oh dear. Hey, what's up? Slash. My Iga Slash. It's my Pokemon. Then I heal myself. Looks like there's something up there. No, just kidding. I lied. I fooled you. Got you. And I'm gonna try not to absolutely die up here again. This is uh, a lot of health. Oh, I just noticed it shows numbers next to the enemies. So I did 30 damage. That's cool. That's advantageous. Bye. Goodbye. Actually, I can kill you too. Oh, but I needed you for the mudgeon! Oh, no. That's unfortunate. I completely forgot about that. No, stop. Ah! Please don't touch. Is there a checkpoint anywhere nearby? I'd appreciate a checkpoint, actually. Oh, hi. And not a doomy monster of... Nah. Here, I'll go get my checkpoint, and then I'll come back. Oh, hi. Oh, I forgot I could also destroy projectiles with my with my uh, thing. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is fine. This is okay. Oh, and there's a little mudget up there too. Okay, well, 
Here's a checkpoint. Now I heal. Now I get the budgeons. Easy, right? That's fine. That was that was pretty good, actually. Excellent move. Excellent maneuver there, Penkapu. Very good. Very good. We respect that around here. Now, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to use my Mad Hops. Oh, I was so close! What if I just, like... Oh, my goodness. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that little guy. That is so unfortunate. All right, well, sit here. Do the thing. That is really sad, actually. I was hoping to get the Mudgeon. I could not do it. That's okay. Maybe another time. Maybe next time. On another exciting episode of The World. Oh, goodness, don't fall into the spikes. You were low on health. And I have no idea how to get up there. So you will have to... I'll get you another time. Like I said for at least one of your brothers thus far. Die. 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 Oh, there's a Mudge? Aha! Uh -huh. Hello, Mudge. Oh, can I go over here? Oh. What's the point? I don't understand the point of that. All I do is fall. But I guess it gives me an easy way back if I never need to go back. Well, there was one stage, at least, that didn't allow me to go backwards. So, I guess that helps in that case. Naughty, naughty. Oh, hello there. I'm trying very carefully not- No! Not to die! Hi there. I see a little mudge back there. Mudge? No! Why would you- Why would there not be a platform beneath the mudgeon? How was I supposed to know that I was going to fall? This game is not very forgiving. I will give it that much. I I will I will jump right into trying to get a collectible and it'll be like, oh, did you forget that gravity exists? And I'll be like, no, I forgot. I have fallen yet again. All right. Fool me once. Shame on me. Fool me twice, though. They will not fool me again. There we go. I know to stay to the left this time. See? I account for all with the power of my all-seeing Aegis. Hi there, what are you? Um, yeah, what are you? Yeah, what are you? Okay, goodbye then. That enemies looked like its one job was to vigorously slap me. Potentially on my rump. I do not want to be slapped upon my tuchus from these hand monsters. Hi there, hand monster. Do not slap my tuchus. I won't even give you the opportunity to before you even have a chance to lay your dirty hands on me. I have bested my foe. Anyway, what's down here? Anything? Oh, nice. Anything? And, oh, hi, hi. No, wait, 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 why would you? Oh, I have to come from the opposite direction. I, I understand now. If I come from the left, then I can climb up on the right. All right, dirty hand. Oh, you grabbed me. Well, you didn't spank me like I thought you were going to do. Kind of happy, but also a little disappointed in a way. Oh, is that a hidden platform? Was that a hidden platform? Looked like a hidden... No, you silly head. No, what? Oh. Was there a hidden platform? Oh, I thought there was. Excuse me. No, stop. Oh, you grabbed me with your powerful palms of puncturing. You punctured my armor. Oh dear. I don't like these hands. Don't catch me outside with these hands. Oh my goodness. No, stay far away. Stay far away from me and my soft armored body. One day I'll have a body that you've never touched before. Little do you know, Penkapu shed their skin monthly. I'm molting. Watch me shed my skin for you. Now I have a body you've never touched. Maybe one day? Maybe one day humans will be able to be able to molt their skin. Now, actually, I was reading an article the other day, or rather watching a video. I've seen it on the internet before, it's just I haven't seen it recently, so it bears repeating, about hypothesizing whether a frog... Uh, like, frogs, frogs during all stages of their life will use... During all... During all the stages of their lives, at one point at least, they will wind up using- Oh my god, oh that's fine. They will wind up using basically every form of breathing available to like creatures and stuff. They breathe when they're on land, they use gills when they're underwater, and in other ways I guess they use both. But they were wondering whether a frog, or rather a tadpole, can photosynthesize and gain oxygen in that way. And so there was an experiment where they took like yellow, like, tiny little tadpoles and they sucked all the oxygen out of the water and then injected them with, with a bunch of like chlorophyll and whatnot. And lo and behold, after a while, 
they did start photosynthesizing and actually breathing with the oxygen produced by the chlorophyll. Just crazy. Maybe one day we'll be able to do that. Nagito! You found a Nagito! This mystical artifact is a vessel containing magical energy and allows Penkapu to increase his overall anima points. Penkapu's maximum overall anima points have been increased by one. That was a lot of words to say that. But I respect it. Can we go up? We can go up. I get higher. I get higher. I got higher. That's what I did. And now, swack! Oh, okay. How about this? I got a mudgeon. Honestly, those mudgeons, their faces remind me of the slimes from Slime Rancher. Not gonna lie there. It's kind of cute. Is there a mudgeon over here too? No, okay. Just just a little corridor to make me think that there might be something there. Which is... It is kind of... I, I will admit, it is kind of bothering me that there are a lot of like crevices and whatnot that I don't know what they're for. I mean, I, I, I'm sure they have a purpose. I just don't know what that purpose is currently. And maybe it's because like I need... Like I need another ability to be able to see them. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure there's a mudgeon down there. I think I'm, I'm pretty sure I hear one. Dust I hear a mudgeon. If I go down, will I be able to see? Take me downward. Down. Down. Do I see the mudge? I do not see the mudge. Oh, there is a little mudge. There you are. No! Ouch. I've died. I have succumbed to darkness yet again. Oh, dear! I will not let you fool me again. And jump! Mudgeon. Oh, but how do I get up? Oh, I see. I go over here, and then I do a thing, and then I jump down. Right? I'm here now. What is the advantage of being down here? I hear something. Oh, hi there, hand beast. Wow. You are so full of yourself that you would actually move the camera's focus towards you. How disrespectful. How disrespectful. I want to go up there. There's definitely a mudge up there. But how do we get to it? No! Oh my god, that worked. Oh, I need to... Actually, I don't need that. No, stop. Ah! This is fine. No! Okay, okay, guard. Guard, den hose. Yo, alright. If somebody hasn't done this yet, you can take this one for free. Garden hose. But guard in the beginning is spelled G-U-A-R-D, as in guardian. So, the garden hose is actually a weapon. You can take that. That's for free. Oh, no! No! Boy. Cannot believe I walked straight off the edge like that. Oh, my gosh. I'm apparently not paying attention. All right. <laughs> because of my pure and utter stupidity, I may actually only get to the boss tonight. I will, I will end after the boss or after two hours. Whatever comes first. Or whatever, um, no, 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 I will, yeah, wait, no, I said that wrong. I will beat the boss. No, I will beat the boss. I will beat the boss, and if I beat the boss in another two hours, I will, I will end after I beat the boss of this, this land. Hi there. Please don't touch. This is a body that you have yet to touch. You in particular. I'm sure there are others. Okay, Hi. Again with this stuff. Don't. No, 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 no. Oh my god, I was getting too close for comfort with that hand. That palm is scaring me. It looks so slappy. Slappy, no. Slappy, yes. Oh my god, it's another one. Oh my god, it's another. No! You almost got me, you little slappy bastard. Oh, but what do I do about you? Ah, ah, no, no, don't slap. Don't slap. No, ah! Oh, my head hurts. I was not prepared at all. I'm all the way back here again. Why? Where are my checkpoints? So unforgiving, this game. All I wanted is a mudgeon. Oh, my God. I think I'm officially a moron. No. Guard. Slice. Get the mudgeon. Continue onward. Don't be slapped by the hand of power. The palm of... The... It's the palm of molestation. Seriously, though. Alright, welcome. Welcome back. Alright. This is okay now. I can, I can deal with this. No, you grabbed me! Why would you grab me? Okay, this is fine. 
What do I do? Oh, can I... Can I guard? Can I guard against you? Oh, yeah. I totally can't... Oh, that's the... Oh, no. You little son of a bitch there. I can't believe I got going to do that like that. But now I know that I can guard. Why did I think about that before? I'm a little dense sometimes. And sometimes a little more than a little dense. Sometimes... I just have no idea what I'm doing. But some would call that a lovable characteristic. I wouldn't know. Oh, dear. Look at you. That's okay. You know what? The more we do these things over and over and over again, the better we become. There we go. Look at that. Oh, incredible. Incredible. I am such a pro now. No, no, stop. No. Oh, dear. No. Oh, my God. Oh. I have dropped my kazoo to the floor, but it's okay. I still feel good. And as long as I can convince myself that I feel good, then I am good. Please don't touch me. Please don't touch me. Thank you. I, I'm i going to take my time with this now. Now that I know that I can block the molesting hands, I will block them. I will block them and prepare myself. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Now I can... Oh, what the heck? What? The, I still get hurt? Oh my goodness. If I touch them, I still get hurt. Eh. I'll come back down and try again. No! Oh, I have to be on the... No! Oh, I have no energy. Okay, if I step to the side and then... Nope. No, 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 no. Okay, this is fine. Uh, I have to guard when I get up there, I guess. I need at least one thing to be able to... No, you grabbed me! This is fine, actually. No! Uh, I have just enough for one of them. So I will do... Platform! I'm back. <laughs> you saddened me. Greatly. Alright, here we go. Slash! No! Oh, the hand! Oh! The handle! <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. This is like the fifth time I've been through this! I am suffering! But honestly, all of it is my fault. This is absolutely no fault of the game. I am the one who's the big dum-dum. I'm the lollipop here. And my, what a sucker I am. Oh, I needed that to get up there. I'm a fool. I must perish. This time on purpose. I must perish this time around. Just get up. Just get up. No, speed run it. Come on. Come on, Cam. Speed run. No. <laughs> oh, why? My precious health points. I have found that I need those. Usually, I wouldn't be so tough on myself, but... No! Why would you do that? There is something I'm missing here. Perhaps it is skill. Perhaps it is a love of the game. <laughs> I don't even know! I think I need... Do I, I think I just need to take a breath. Maybe I just need to, like... Hone my chi. Or something like that. Just like, calm and collectively collect my composure. If I die again, I am going to take 12 seconds to collect myself. That's what I will do. I will take a solid 12 seconds to collect myself, and then I know I will get it on the next try. The amount of faith I have in myself is astounding. Or at least I certainly hope it will be. Slash. To take away those hands. Cash me outside with those hands, bro. Oh, I need my... I need my energy. Guard! No, why did I... The guard! Oh, lord. Oh, lord. What do I do now? Oh, goodness. That was on my... No, stop! Oh. 12 seconds. 12 seconds of just pure... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. 
Now, with the power of total focus, I will not perish. See? That was amazing. Because I focused, I was able to succeed. Allow me to not get hit at all. Watch that. Incredible. I see every com everything coming. That was just merely a mistake. Merely a blip. Observe the power of perfection as I slice through these enemies. I still have blue points, and I still have the red points. Observe as I destroy this molestation hand and speed my way through. Not hastily. I will guard with the one hand on one side, and then swack on the other. And then hopefully attempt to guard. It didn't work, but that's okay. Now I have that. I just noticed I didn't need to do that. This is fine. That's fine. I will just merely attack at this hand again. I don't need it. I don't need it. Oh my goodness! The hand. Die hand. That's fine. This time, it's gonna be incredible. It's gonna be amazing. You're you're never you're gonna love so much of what I'm capable of. There we go. There we go. Incredible. I was so good at that. He's so incredibly good. Now I'm gonna do that with the other hand and not die. Not at all. Not even once. Oh my goodness gracious, there's more. Hey look, a checkpoint. I am saved. But I must grab that mudgeon. I must. I must grab the mudgeon. Oh, goodness. Oh! That's fine. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, I didn't know what to do about that. Sorry about that. Um, well, I can just, like... Yeah, I guess I have to go to the bottom first and then whack you with my thingamob! With my shield. Whack. Whack. Oh, I was not able to do it this time. I have to go back down. Oh, or I can just do this. That's fine. If I absorb it that way... And now, oh, no, 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 no. You can go down. That's fine. You can expire. Expire. No, mm, I did not wait long enough. <sighs> All right, it's gone. Now I can fall back down for the next platform to go back up. And whack this little dude. Observe. Incredible. Now I have to wait for the platform to go back down again. But not before I, nope, I cannot heal. I will not heal. Now I can get the mudge. Ah, oh, so excellent. So satisfying. There are two more in this level, and I think I missed... I definitely missed one of them, and I couldn't get to it. So. Alrighty, then. Let's move along. Oh, there's even more to be found. Of course there is. I still must face the Briar Heart. Hi there. Wow, look, the Briar Heart. Incredible. I'm dead. That thing's kind of disgusting. It kind of looks like a real heart. Ooh, the music got all spooky. It's intense. It's not spooky. It's just intense. Like that circus fire. It was also intense. Heyo, what's up? You don't hurt me. Yeah, you don't. You really don't. You do not hurt- Oh, you sludge. Um, do I move on? No, I cannot. Okay, uh, what do I- Oh, I just whack it. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Alright, that's, that's okay. Hey, look, I, I cracked the heart. <laughs> Penkapu's gonna break your heart. Hey there. Only two Briar Hearts to go. And the way should open. I believe you. However, I don't believe you. You know, know what I'm saying? Maybe Tyrude is not the bad guy here. Achievement unlocked, the Verdant Forest. Oh, was that the Verdant Forest? No, it was a canopy. All right. Well, now I'm going to the Forest Isle. And I will play the Forest Isle. I will play it like a violin. I cannot play the violin. Hey, what's going on over here? Penkapu, I'd like to thank you for everything you've already done for me. Here's a new fragment of my power. Thanks. Wow, I just do good deeds for people and I gain power? Nice. <gasps> it's somebody's foot. Interesting. Bravery bust. Well done. You've unlocked bravery burst. Not bust. Hold down Yi for at least one second, then release to trigger an enormous explosion around Penkapu. This devastating attack can be very useful if you're surrounded by enemies, and it costs three anima points. I get the feeling you will get the chance to use your new power very soon. Oh yeah? Wanna bet? I do, actually. And what is it? Click and hold Y? Boop. Wow, look at that. That was pretty cool. Mudgeon. Excellent. Moving right along, then. That was kind of cool. That was kind of cool. I like that. We like that. We like to see that. I can explode with a burst of power. Thing. Whoa, hi. All right. Wasn't expecting that. Is there a mudge down here? Hey, there, a little mudge. I like you. Oh, I got another one. Right, because I have... I guess I've collected 50 now, right? 
Because every 25, I get a, a Flava... Yeah, whatever its name was. I don't remember. Flavatite? 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 Flavonite. Maybe. I'm unsure. I don't remember. See, I'm going to speed through this. These ones are going to be so easy. I have full faith in that. Hit me. <laughs> Hit me, dealer. Go big or go home. 21. Let's go. Blackjack. Oh. Wow, look at that. Wow, that was pretty powerful. I like that. I like using that against these guys. Excellent. Oh, but I think there might have been something behind. Eh, that's okay. Alright, that wasn't that wasn't anticipated that way. Oh dear. I was gonna try to use my big blast attack, however, I clearly did not have enough. Hey, can I can I go in here? No, anything? Nope, can't do that. What if I explode? No, I don't I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I definitely hear you. Oh, you're probably behind the shrub, right? No, I literally have no idea. Oh my goodness, what is up with that? Okay, hi. Alright, didn't realize that was gonna happen that way, but now I can walk in, can't I? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Who knew that something was gonna burst out of the wall and leave something beautiful behind? <gasps> you! Not you again. Oh, I can totally get up there. Yes. Oh, there's more. Oh, I can keep going up. Interesting. Yeet. That was excellent. Did I, like, skip my way up? Oh, that was cool. Oh, hello. I wonder if this is... Secret? Is it secret? It feels like I wasn't supposed to get here that way. But alas. Oh, hello. Nice. That was awesome. Oh, I fell right into the thorns. That was a mistake you. Oh, goodness gracious. That was also a mistake you. Hey, so. Bye. Can't go there. Whoa. You can't hurt me now. You can now, though. No. Oh. I got you. Oh, I should have used you. Oh, I could have used you to go up there. Oh, this is so sad. Alrighty then. Well, unfortunate. Hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hello. Hey, I'm just gonna keep on moving. I'm a little low on health. I don't necessarily want to deal with it right now. Yeah, okay. That's that's cool. Let's keep along. Let's move along. Hey, what's up? Hey, these hands. These Pepe hands. Oh, yes indeed. Hi there. <laughs> Bye there. You're cute. I like you. Slash, slash, slash! Shoot! Oh, goodness. Fall into the spikes, then. Yeah, I feel like it's actually not in my best interest to take down these monsters, honestly. Because when I do so, I, go I I block off, like, all these mudgeons for myself. So it doesn't seem that advantageous at all. Do I go that way, or... I think I'm gonna go the other way. However, I should defeat this... Okay, mm I guess I'll just follow you. That was fine. Oh, that was dangerous. That's fine. What's in this direction? Oh, a checkpoint. Was I supposed to go this way? Mudgeon! Oh, hi. Alrighty then. Yeah, I don't know what to do about that, to be honest. I can't... Oh, can I power burst from here? N no. How do I How do I defeat you? I have to come in from the other direction, I think. Oh, I guess this was the way I was supposed to go. That was just another way to do it. Interesting. Interesting. I've learned. Oh, I can't do that. Okay, hey. Whack, 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 whack. Oh, I it's a general rule that when I defend, I gain animal points back. That makes sense. Yeah, this is fine. I don't need to use my blast over here. I've got classic tactics for these guys. Oh, hi. Oh, hey. Hey, what's up? Yeah, classic tactics. Can't even. Cannot even with this guy. Just can't. Oh, hi. Yeah, I, I, mm, I could probably stand to even with these ones. Probably. I could stand to even a little bit, to be honest. Maybe odd sometimes. Sometimes. Not all the times. Only sometimes. Alrighty. Let's see. Hello. Goodbye. Points. Points, points, points. I bet there's a heart nearby. <laughs> Sorry, I had something in my nose, and I had to get rid of it. Hi there. I can sense it. The briar heart is not far away. I believe you. Or do I? I do. It's this one. Giant blast? Literally? All it took was one blast and I destroyed the heart. That's easy. That's not difficult at all. Only one briar heart to go. We'll be able to get through. I believe in us. That wasn't too difficult. And that one only took me 10 minutes as opposed to the probable 20 it had from before. Achievement unlocked Arboretum. 
I bought a game for my fiance called Arboretum, a board game. I think it's a card game, actually. We haven't actually played it yet. We will, though, I'm sure. Oh, ouch. That's fine. I'm gonna speed my way through this one, too. Now that I know, now that I know how this game works, not that I didn't know how it worked before, um, but the learning curve steeper than I orig had originally anticipated. Not by anybody's fault than my own. This is totally my fault. The only reason that I am struggling with this because I am not paying full attention. So that's all me. Oh, look at that. Balls that move horizontally. Excellent. We like those. Okay, um... Oh, I need the power of... Can I guard against these ones? Can I guard against these slimes? I can. I can just... <laughs> I love how I can just sit there and guard the slimes as they bounce off of me. And I gain points for that. I like that. Magic points, that is. Like, not like actual points. I don't know if there is any points. Whoa, that was interesting. Well, I don't really care. Oh, no! I've fallen. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. I've heard that before. This little tune of like da 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 da. Ha! <laughs> a chip and a lock slap. Oh, so it's not molest because I kind of could have sworn it felt like that. Then again, Penkapu, are you particularly disturbed by the slappages, molestations of this monster? No. All right. Hey, technically. You're the you have the power to press charges if you want to, Pankapu. Although, there might not be any law in this area. There very well might not be. I don't know what the laws of this area are. Are there laws in the Dreamscape? I I don't know, but I think we need to know. I need to know if there's copyright law in the Dreamscape, honestly. If I start calling myself Pankapu, is somebody going to come after me? That's what I got to know. I gotta, I'm looking out for number one, you know? Looking out for the best. Looking out for number one. Gotta always got to look out for number one. Take care of yourself first. Remember... When you're on a plane, and you're sinking into the water, take care of yourself first before your children or other guests and passengers. I, I think it's a matter of self-preservation. I don't know, maybe just so they're not responsible. They've got to be like, like, you, you know, honestly, like, I probably, if it were my child, I would probably put it on them first before I, before myself, but that's just their way of saying, like, you know, well, this is what we're telling you to do. So, technically, if you didn't do it the way we told you to, you're just going against our orders. So I guess they're not held accountable. That's what that would be my guess. Like, it's probably a liability thing. Oh, can I go down there? I can. Hello, Mudge. Oh, I cannot go down there. Genuinely thought I could. Well, I'll just go down this way then. Okay. Guess I'm not going down there. Actually, wait, but I know I can get in there now. I think I think that works. Wait a minute. Don't worry about these slaps. These mad slaps. These mad slappages are not very pleasant. Alright, so if I go down there, I get this mudge. Get the mudge. I love you so mudge! That's probably how mudgeons greet, the, greet each other. It must be. I'd be disappointed if it wasn't. So actually, if I go... Oh no, I can't go that way. Yeah, what the heck? I don't know how to get down there. Uh, Come on back now, y'all. Oh my good! Oh, I did it. Nice. That was close, actually. Alright, sweet. Well, there was another mudgeon back there, but I don't... I don't know how to get to it. Another time. Another time, another mudge. Hey there, that fell from the sky. Don't know why, but that's fine. Oh, there are geysers. Nice. Oh, there must be mudges up there, right? Oh, there's the mudge. I found ya, mudge. I like that. They are very slime ranchery, by but we'll give them that. They're very, very... Slime Rancher-esque. I'll give it that much. Nice. Hello, Mudge. Mudge, Mudge. Oh, I see. I don't want to be on the ones that are currently rising, or else I will face the terrors of the weeds. The bramble. That's fine. I don't mind. Hey, look at that. Trust the Mudges. They will guide you home. Nice. I'm very glad that that was powerful enough for me to walk, uh, to sword through. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Oh, dear. It's fine. I was just at a checkpoint. I will be just fine. Oh, come here. Come on now. Come on. There we go. Magic. 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 Magic platforms following me. You're gonna guide me to where I want to be. Oh, yeah. Where is heart at? Where is my heart at? Where is it really? They say home is where the heart is. But where the heart at? 
Truly. I can go down and do that, get myself some health, and then guys. Guys, as in geyser. Hey, what's up? I was there. Oh, there's a mudge up there. So I would much rather see this mudge than the. Oh, I bet there's a mudge up there! I did not realize I fell between those platforms. Interesting. That was not what I expected. Wow, I'm all the way back here again. That's fun. I just didn't have my focus on that one. I, I accept this one. Oh, Bung Gangnam Style. I remember when that was like the top on YouTube for a while. Actually, supposedly, there was a rumor that YouTube's, um, I think it was watch counter, was represented as a 32-bit number, so it maxed out after about like, um, however so many views, over like 52 million views, I think. 52 million? I think it was 52 million. No, why would you? Mm, the water. I was too busy thinking of Psy, you know. The singer-songwriter of Gangnam Style, the critically acclaimed song hit from... I don't know when it was. 20-something or other. I was too busy thinking of Open Gangnam Style. Big Brother Style. But supposedly, supposedly, there was the rumor of that, oh, they only represented in a certain number of, like, things, so it can only reach, like, um, 42 billion or something like that. Um, and it went past that or something like that. I don't know. Um... I think it was just a rumor, though. I don't think that was actually the case. I'm pretty sure YouTube's counters use 64-bit logic, like the world should. Why use 32 bits when we have 64? I just, I just don't know. Take that. Take that and that. Power up my goo. Hey there, what's up? That's fine. That was good. Ah, that's fine. That was advantageous. It was good to go through that. It was okay to get hit by the bramble. I can sense it. The Briarheart is not far away. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You probably couldn't have said anything. I still would have gotten the idea. Oh, look at this. All right, I see the Briarheart. So I'm going to defend until I have enough for it. And then just kind of blast, <clears throat> blast next to it. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, go on top. Nice. That was it. That was all we needed. Honestly, very easy. Once you get past all the platforming and stuff, pretty easy, not gonna lie. Pretty easy indeed. With the three Briar Hearts destroyed, the energy stream was no more. Yeah, I know. And the energy stream is gone. Now I have to fight Tyrone. I mean Tyroot. Hey, whoa. Deprived of its power, the thorn wall collapsed, clearing a path for Pankapu and his friends to reach Ohiti's house. Yes, indeed. Little did they know they would soon meet a challenge unlike anything they had previously encountered. The boss. And his name is Tyrone. I mean Tyroot. Right? <laughs> All the Briarheads have been destroyed. The way should be open now. I believe you. Can I die if I go back into the... Oh, wait. Can I go back to... Should I go back this way? Oh, that's the, that's the thing again. I don't need that. I have to continue on to the right. Mudgenmere. I did it. Achievement unlocked. Now I'm gonna fight Tyroot. I, I think I think its name was Tyroot. Mudgen Village. The village of the Mudgins. Tasty. Wow, everything is purple. Must mean evil. Always does. Always will. Always does, always will. Alrighty. Where are you, Tyroot? Where are you? Come here, Ty. Hey, look! A perfectly unsuspecting turnip house. I hope nothing happens when I go up too close to it. Oh, let's see. Can I come in? Oh. Who disturbs my slumber? It is I, Ohidi. Oh, little Ohidi, you came back. Give me my house back, you fiend. Last time I saw you, you were running as fast as your little legs could carry you. What's made you so brave now? I didn't come alone. My friend Pankapu was here with me. It's nice of you to think of me. Your name is not Pankapu. He gave me my hope back. Thanks to him, I found the courage to face you. Hope? <laughs> I'm gonna swallow up all your hope. Just like I swallowed your mudge and friends and your family, but especially your mother. <laughs> it's a your mom joke. Oh my god, hi. Goodbye. Alright, what does this mean for me? Oh, okay, that's fine. Oh, hi there. Oh, you just like explode upon impact. That's fine. Oh, I see. 
I see. But if I block you, I gain powers beyond my wildest dreams. Oh, hi there. Yeah, this is fine. This is, this is easy. Oh, hi. You're dead. Oh, but you're actually not dead. All right, that's fine. Open up your body. I don't know how I am to attack you. You seem impenetrable. Maybe I blast if I... Whoa, hi there. Oh, I can't use this energy. Can you not touch me when, you're, when I'm behind you? Uh, I kind of want to turn around, but... Oh, okay, nice. <laughs> I completely avoided it by being all the way on the side. Oh, do I need to, like... I feel like I need to do my explosion power. Defend. Defend, 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 defend. All right, I'm going to try to explode next to you. Blast of power? No, that didn't do anything. All right, what do I do about that? I don't know what to do about that. Do I, I just... I guess I just keep going after the waves. The waves of enemies. That's all I do. Is that it? Do I just... I just keep... Oh, hi there. Uh, hey. I push you backwards and then... Oh, hi there. Oh, hi. That wasn't too bad. Yeah, okay, okay. I just have to keep going after until... Until I don't die. Oh, my goodness, hi. Goodbye. I may die. I will... Oh, I will most definitely die. But I won't die next time. Maybe. I don't know. So it's when the hand comes out, that's when I should be most afraid. Or rather, actually, that's when I that's when I should be most not afraid, because that is what gives me the power. You know, come after me. Come on. No! No! Oh, yeah, okay. They were about to come at me from a couple angles. I couldn't deal with that. Could not deal with that. Tyroots, if that's even your real name. I will defeat you. I will get my buddy's house back if it's the last thing that I do. I'm never going to bother using my powers on you. Not like this. Yeah, easy. Easy mode. So easy. So easy. Easy squeezy lemon peasy. Yes. I only need to hit you once to get you out of my hair. It's so easy. All it takes is one, two, slash. Just like that. At the step of your finger. Whoa, hi there. If I just keep hitting, and then I explode. 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 Oh, yeah, that did some damage. Although, honestly, I feel like I did more damage when I just did my slash attack and otherwise. But there might be, like, a fixed amount of damage that I can actually do in a in a given, like, small round. I don't know exactly. Uh, I'm gonna come over here. And then come over here. Guard me. Guard me. Oh, come on. No, stop. Oh, my God. Don't get hurt. Don't get hurt. Don't get hurt. Okay, that, now I'm over here now. Don't hit the hand. Don't hit the hand. Oh my god. <sighs> I ran into that one. I ran into the little gelatin. Gelatin? Gelatin. The other ones were gelatons, I think. Potentially. I don't even remember anymore. Oh, I cannot dash. I thought I was playing Hollow Knight for a moment there. Excuse me. Those, those gelatons do a whole lot of damage. Like a single bit of damage. Like a whole crystal worth of damage. That's unfortunate. Honestly, this is very pleasant. This is a very pleasant fight. I'm not very stressed out about it. My heart rate isn't rising. I may be frustrated, <laughs> but only slightly. No, stop! <clears throat> Honestly, should have seen it coming. Actually, I'm just going to do this. I feel like this is the best way to do it. Oh, okay. There's only a certain amount that I can actually do on them. So I might as well just do two Whirly Gig attacks, because it uses less of my mojo. No, stop. Oh my goodness. Hey, what's up? Makes a lot of odd sounds, honestly. I don't blame him, though. I'm, I'm okay with it. It's fine. It's fine. No, I died! I died, and I may die again. It's the last thing that I do. Oh dear. Well, it seems that my stream seems to be having some troubles connecting to the internet, which is fine, I guess. Disconnected. OBS has officially disconnected me. Incredible. But that's okay. I'm actually recording this broadcast as well, so it'll come up again next time. When we see on the VOD, the, the VOD that just appears on YouTube will actually be back. I may actually need to pause it to reconnect. Oh, reconnection successful. It seems that we're back. This is good. We're back again. For all those watching at home who may seem concerned about this little lapse of event, don't worry, I'm actually recording this broadcast. I, this is the first time I'm actually recording a broadcast in addition to streaming it. So, later on, when the VOD becomes available up on YouTube, the full thing will be there. And there will be no interruptions. Oh, goodness, I died. It makes me sad. 
It makes me very sad. Oh, back again then. Oh, goodness. This is actually a little more frustrating than I thought it was going to be. We're getting there. It's just like, I don't, there's no way to, there's no way to regain health. Which is really unfortunate because I get hit a lot. And that's on me. That is totally on me. I take full responsibility for my lack of ability. Potentially. Although I feel like there should be a way to at least heal there. Because this is pretty long. I suppose I have to survive three phases of this. And I have barely been able to keep S2. But it's fine. I guard, and then I attack, 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 and I hit once, and twice, and then I prepare myself for the other ones. I push my way back, and there you go. Now I'll fully pay attention. Instead of talking like a fool, my hubris, I will instead keep on going. Oh, these ones also seem more powerful. Okay, that was good. That was really good, actually. Uh, that was okay. Oh, you fell on top of me. No, stop, don't fall on top of me. Oh my goodness, that was not good. Not good. Oh, man. Sorry about that, Ty Root. I will free you. I will free you one day. You and your turnipy head thing. You're basically just a giant one of those gelatin monsters, but you're just inside of a house. But for some reason, you're named. Actually, good for you, Ty Root. You're definitely living your best life there. You have a reputation. That's more so than I can, re I can confidently say about myself. I don't have... I have a reputation, but not like a, re a rep. You know what I'm saying? I have yet to make a name for myself in this world. I will one day. Honestly, end goal? I have a Wikipedia page out there. I do not have one right now. And it can't be one that I make my own, on my own. Technically, I could just make my own Wikipedia page. But what, what's the fun in that? There's no fun in that. Somebody else has to do it. Uh, not because I asked them to either. I feel like I feel like that's when you know you've made it. I feel like you know you've made it once you have like a Wikipedia page, I feel. I don't know. Oh, come on. There we go. I totally survived it. Yes! Why would you go that way? Um, not, this one's not going to follow me this time. But I will defend. I go down to the center. And again. Oh, come on. Right down the middle? Oh, you nuggets. You nugget of sadness. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, my goodness. Oh, all the way across? This is okay. I have fully... No, why would you... Mm. It's okay. I can hit now. And then do this. Now I just need to survive it one more time. I only have one health left. No wonder. Can I survive another one? I don't know. This is this is painstaking. It is a little painstaking. We'll admit that. Now, which side are you going to send your dudes down from? Are you going to send them down from that way? That's perfect. Because then I can wait over here and guard here. Oh, my goodness. That's fine. And then I run over here so that I don't get squudged. And try not to get attacked. I have to hang in the middle. And then I go to the side, and this is fine. Oh my goodness, what? Oh, that's fine. I actually have enough for what I want to do, so... Unless you start attacking more, in which case, not so good. Not so good! Not so good! This is fine. Oh, you... No! Oh my god, that came from the side! Oh my goodness, I didn't see the shadows that time. Oh, such sadness. All right, Tyroot, I know your game. I know your game now, and now I'm prepared. I'm prepared. I need to watch the shadows. You shadowed creatures. That's what it's all about. You gotta watch your shadows. Then so you know where they're coming from. Or something of the sort. Yeah, I see. I see. I guess this, the, um, the, um, the shadows probably, um, yeah, the, pro the shadows were probably visible. I just didn't look at them. Right? Because I'm standing over top of them? Yeah, because I'm standing over top of the shadow. It's, I find it a hard time to be able to distinguish those shadows from my own. Alright, that was silly move. Silly move with the hand there. Very silly move indeed. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. This is okay. This is fine. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness goodness gracious. Don't touch. Don't touch. And then from the side. There we go. Here we go. Actually, I'm gonna move myself down here. because So I don't block the health bar of this big old Tyrone monster over here. Okay, come on. Shield, shield, shield. Shield, shield, shield. Down to the center. No! Okay, this is fine. No, this is fine. This is fine. More, 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 more. Yeah, nice. Go over here, and then run to the side, and then guard and hit. I am better off than I was last time. I have half a health, half a health more than I did last time. 
so that's fine. Oh, but now I'm blocking the pink pinkapu. Oh dear, now I'm at one health more. You know what? Put myself back up in the corner. Oh, I messed myself up. That's okay. That's what I that's what I get for not paying attention, and I have not paid attention at least seven times now. I don't have any counters or anything like this, death counters or anything like that. I do I do want to have one of those. I've been trying to figure out a way to like um like track deaths and whatnot in an easy manner like with a counter and stuff like that and i want to try to implement it with the bot that i have or the chat bot but it's proving to be a little bit difficult so eventually eventually but not now eventually one day i got a couple of things that i want to figure out how to do with this chat bot honestly i think there may actually be a way for me to control my lights with the chat bot so that chat commands and whatnot and like channel point redemptions can like make my lights go all disco-y although i haven't figured out how to do it yet it uh, requires a little bit of api work on my part and some programming uh although i haven't figured it out yet and oauth i don't know anything about um the oauth protocol to be honest all right i go to the side then i go to the side again no okay that was that was bad that was bad that was not good no it wasn't bad bad but like it wasn't very good i did mention that all right go to the center Go to the side. We are safe. No, you touched to the center. All the goo balls. All right. Ugh. I so dislike. All right, there we go. Now you're dead. At least the little guys are. All right, now I'm going to focus on this one. This one is going to be the one. Go to the center, and then go to the side. Because you're going to shoot more gloobs at me. But they're coming from... Oh, they're coming from the sides. Incredible. Well, I want to be over here. Uh, which direction are you coming from? Over there? Okay, this is fine. And then I go back this way. I'm going to defeat you. So I have space for... You're coming from that way. That's okay. I have defense that I can do and muster. No, for the center. And then away from the center. No, you can't... Oh my gosh! I thought you go to the center next. I was wrong. Oh my goodness gracious. Save suffering and pain all the time. All the pain, suffering. All right, if I can just like not get hit during these first like couple phases, I think I'll be all right. It's all about killing the enemies. If I can just kill the enemies and, enjoy and avoid the globs, I should be okay. But I'm not okay. I'm never okay. Then again, to be honest, so long as I'm having a good time, so long as we're having a good time, then it's okay. I don't need to be good at the game. So long as everything is okay. Oh my god, hi. Hey, what's up? That was an excellent dodge there. Nice job, Pankapu. Nice job, dude. Oh, don't touch. You go to the center. I, I don't know. I'm trying to predict where you're going, and there's really no sense in me predicting where you're going. It doesn't help me. I know you're going to... The, nope, to the side. I thought you were going to the center. Alright, and you've got guys coming that way. They're like leeches. That's what they remind me of, too. They also remind me of leeches. And then, I don't know where you're coming from. No, they came to the center! I was like, I thought they didn't come for the center. Oh, this is still phase two. That's why. Oh. Phase two, it goes to the center. And that next phase, it does not. Guard. Whack, whack, whack. Slap and slap. I got one more. This will, this will be the one. I feel it. I can feel it in my bones. Although, I can feel it in the bones of my enemies. However, these enemies do not have bones. They are very gelatinous. All right, go this way. And then go back the other way, slash down. This is fine. This is good. That was good. I think they come from the... Oh, uh, they come from the side. Okay. No, stop. No. Oh my god! No! 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 Run! Run! Oh my god! No! Stop! Oh my god! Oh my god! I can't keep. There's so many things on the board. I feel like I would really suck in a bullet hell game if I can't even keep track of these little blobs bouncing around. How am I gonna keep track of like a bunch of tiny little pellets and stuff? I don't know. It's a little, a little heartbreaking. Well, nobody said I was good. It's just my first time playing. I'd say the learning curve is steep on this. I'd say it's an intermediate level game. That's what I would say. It's not easy per se. It's not hard either. It's not like frustratingly difficult. Like, like, um, like, um, what is that one game where you try to get over the hill? Getting over it. Well, getting over it with Bennett Foddy. That game, I've been told, is borderline terrible. 
I think, actually, I was looking at it on Steam the other day, and apparently it's labeled under psychological horror because it's like, it does so... I don't know. I guess the reason being, like, it wreaks havoc on the player. Come on, you want to come this way? Come this way. Let me block you. Okay, fine. Why do you have to go in the other direction? I like, it's really difficult to, to guard like that. Oh my god. It's really difficult to defend. I, I will say that. I think, in my opinion, it is very difficult to defend in this game because it's, it, it's hard to predict where a lot of these enemies are going. Like, I can't tell. I genuinely can't tell whether a little leech blob thing is going to go left or right, so I can't properly defend for it. Ugh. No, nah, it's just me making excuses. I I'm sure I could probably... And see, and then you come from the side like that, and I have literally no idea. I had no idea. Run to the side. Nope, that was that was going to kill me. Yeah, that that was that was all it was going to be. I, I wonder if one of these Pankapu outfits or whatever can actually heal, because if it can heal, then that is something that I cannot believe they don't give you in the very beginning. What if, like, it's all just a conspiracy? The beginning of this game is the hardest part, and the rest of us just, the rest of it just gets easier. You're like, oh my god, that was so difficult, I can't keep playing, when really, really, this one's getting easier. I don't know. This doesn't feel like one of those games that gets easier. It's pleasant, though. I, honestly, I am having a good time with things like this. I like, I like a challenge, and this feels like a challenge. Although, it's just not, it's not challenging me in the way that I really like. I'm not, like, super duper into things like this. I love, like, challenging platformers and stuff, because I feel like I have full control over the mistakes that I'm making. In this case... I don't know, maybe I'm missing the pattern, or maybe it is the, the enemies going left and right when they should be going one direction, or could be going one direction. I don't exactly know what it is, but like, I am not necessarily enjoying this type of challenge as much as I did previously. Although, you know, I like the art style of the game, I like, I like, um, I like the music of the game. It feels good. And I used my powers, and I wasn't supposed to. I was not supposed to do that. I completely forgot about that. Now I can... I got plenty of them coming after me. And they all came after me this time. That's excellent. That's exactly what I wanted. Exactly what I could have hoped for. And then guard. And then that. Okay. I am on... Okay. I am on full health. I am on full health. This is good. I think this will work. I think this one's going to work. This is going to be the one. I feel this. Not unless I somehow screw up so badly that I lose all of my health. That feels like it can't, ha can't, ha can't possibly happen. Just defeat the little guys. It'll be easy. See, if I could have done this the first seven or eight times, would have been very advantageous. All right, come after me. I can survive a couple of these hits. Actually, that was perfect. Oh my god, hi. All right. Get all you guys. I don't need any more than this. That's all the anime thing I need. An animo. Anime? Anime? Oh dear. Hi, what's up? Oh, I just noticed the house is cracking. That's unfortunate. I'm destroying the house. I'm sp I'm de destroying poor Ohidi's house. And unleashing the beast within. All right, finally. Oh my god. That took a lot more effort than I wanted to. Tyroot, achievement unlocked. Tyroot. Wow, look at... Interesting. That's very circuitous looking. Like like circuits? Circuitous? Yeah, sure. I'll walk into it. Whoa, okay. That freaked me out. That sound was a little freaky. Oh, what is this? Oh. Nebula. You've just unlocked a nebula. A nebula is a force that is directly linked to the world of Omnia. You can infuse your weapon with the power from a nebula by using... Yeah. When Penkapu is equipped with a weapon upgraded by a nebula, his skills and their effects are modified. You can find out more details about nebulas in the equipment management interface. I could. Nebula. Unlocked. What's up, Ohidi? That was fun. Wasn't it? Was it fun? Oh, look! Cutscene! Penkapu had managed to defeat the terrible Tyroot who had taken over Ohidi's house. And now Ohidi's house is gone. It's done. It's dead. Huh. But this victory tasted bitter. Because there's no house. You could get another house. You could. The fervor of battle was more than the house could withstand. And poor Ohidi now found himself homeless. That's okay, Ohidi. You can, like... Don't you, like, an all-powerful god or something? Like, make another house. Or maybe we'll help you. The presence of his new friends did little to comfort him. Hi there, total stranger. <laughs> Do you feel better? I just destroyed your house. As Kapu and she tried unsuccessfully to cheer him up. Oh boy. The ground suddenly tore open. Of course it tore open. Of corruption erupted from the rift. It's the molestation monsters. They come back for more. Oh, bye-bye. Seizing them all at once, it dragged them below, beneath. 
the roots. This narrator does an excellent job of portraying the point here. I like their voice. This is a very nice voice for a narrator. I will say that. Achievement unlocked Peepoo. And I am down here once more. What? What a long way down. It looks like that giant head pulled us out of all the roots of Peepoo. But where did Ohiti go? He must have been dragged further. We have to find him again before he gets it a fix. Then we'll start looking for a way out because I might well be a spider. But I'm not a big fan of confined spaces like this. Let's keep an eye out. It's darker than the inside of a gelatin's head in here. All right. I am going to make my way back to the world map. And that's where I'm going to call it for the evening. I guess this is an entire stage, I suppose. I don't know. I'll make it my I'll make my way back to the Can I just go to the world map? Can I just do that? Cuz I kind of want to head back to the map. No, nah, all right. I'll make my way to the end of this page cuz I don't think I can uh just quit out of it. So I will I will continue to enjoy this for however long it takes me to get to the end of this. And then I'll head back to the world map and that'll be it for today. Small little small little time playing some game ooze. Oh, hello you. You seem more powerful and you explode. Incredible. I knew things got even more terrifying. Now, I wonder if the final boss of this area is just like the other one, but it's on fire. Oh, wow, look at that. I, um, I did a thing to the side. I didn't know I could do that. Is that a part of my nebula? Did I do that? Oh, my nebula. Oh, that's what the thing does. Thorns emerge. If I press X, thorns emerge from the ground on the third hit. AoE damage. In midair, thorns emerge from the ground on impact. Nice. If I charge up, replaces bravery burst by three protective fields that spin around Penkapu. Oh, shiz, really? Oh, I don't have enough for that. Afterwards, then. And I did just notice that there was a mudgeon down there. I I could see it. I could see its eyes, actually. That's pretty cool. I like this concept. I'm in a cave. I can't see things too well. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, forgot they explode. I've slow... I've so easily forgotten. I so easily forget. I'm gonna jump past you. That's fine. Uh, can I go down and not get hurt? Excellent, excellent. Oh, I thought I heard something up there. Oh, maybe I was seeing the, um... I might have just been seeing the eyes of more of those jellytons. Jellytin, jellytons. Bye-bye. Oh, hi there. Who are you? Oh, hi there. Um, who or what are you? Hi. Oh, okay. That's unfortunate. Didn't know you were doing that. Um, hi there. Uh, what are you gonna do now? Hi. Oh, you're like one of them big arm monsters. If I come down, I can like... Oh, okay, guess not. Well, I like this position. You can come back down here again. Okay, I really can't. I'm trying to, but I cannot. No, all right. That kind of worked. Oh, here, stay to, stay here. Because I can just bounce on top of you. I just jump up and dodge. It's easy. Yeah, and he can't even hurt me on his way back up. So, honestly, I have nothing to lose. Then I come down. I try to burst. No, I don't. I don't burst. I forget. I don't burst anymore. I forgot about that. I lost my ability to burst. Makes me sad. That makes me very sad. I like my ability to burst, but I guess it gave me some other things too, and I can protect myself with whatever I had, so. Bye bye. Oh! Make like a howling sound when it died. Interesting. Zolda Billy. I defeated Zolda Billy. Yo, what is this thing? A nebula, perhaps? Did I get another nebula? Whoa, who are you? Hello, Keeper. Thank you for your help. And I'm just along for the ride or something? It's, it's always the same person getting thanked, not me. Gee! I'm called Vaya, this Hyanagi, absconded with my light, and no doubt intended to use it for who knows what misdeed. May I ask what you're doing here? We came from Pipu. We got dragged into this place against our will by a giant hand. Yes, I know. When you say it like that, it sounds weird. But it really is the truth. We are in the world of dreams, after all. Now you acknowledge the world around you. Our friend Ohiti was taken as well. We have to find him again and then get out, out of here together. Your goal is noble and your dedication unequaled. Such a heroic spirit moves me. That is why I wish to aid you in your quest. Take my light. Consider it as a gift, a reward for your bravery. It will allow you to awaken the slumbering champelums who will guide you through the darkness of these caves. Champelums? I doubt that, not that our paths... I doubt not that our paths are destined to cross each other once more. See you soon, Dreaming Keeper. I got Vaya's light. What does that do for me? Absolutely. Oh, I see. It allows me to see where I'm going now. Oh, and I can light up mushrooms. That's pretty cool. I like this concept. I like this concept indeed. So I can do that to turn on the mushrooms. I can bounce around. Turn on. On, I say. 
Nice. Well, that's pretty cool, though. I can just turn on mushrooms. <laughs> I love that. I was just talking about mushrooms with my co-workers today. You can make music from mushrooms. In case I haven't already mentioned already, Myco music sounds pretty cool, honestly. Myco is in mycology. Or mycologist, perhaps? I don't know. It's the study of mushrooms. That's what mycology is. Hey, ooh! Dark little bat things. Hi there. Goodbye, dark little bat things. I'm gonna get you someday. Maybe next time. Someday, maybe next day. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna find you? I'm gonna get you, get you, get you, get you? One way or another? Oh, it doesn't look like they stay on for very long. But it's just enough time for me to bounce around a bit. Oh, dear. Look at that. Oh. Oh, it blossoms into a bouncy mushroom only when the light's on. Okay, I see. I see. Hey. Hi. Hi. I don't... I don't like you. I'm just gonna keep going. This is a sprawling cave. I can see how in this stage it might be difficult to wind up getting all the mudgeons. Did I make it out alive? I'm gonna bounce down. Just like that. Oh, wow. That was not smart. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, goodness. I died. That's unfortunate. Did not realize that was going to happen. Oh, I'm all the way back. Am I all the way back here? Oh, that's not fun. Wow, there was no checkpoint. That was very sad. Very saddening. Not forgiving. Not a very forgiving game. No, it is not. Oh, I don't even get my little mudgeon back. Although, I can just bounce back up and get him again. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care about you. I will just move along as if you have never hurt me. And I'll gain my health and I'll go down. Go that way. And then go this way. No, oh my god, seriously? All but one of them? Incredible. I'm, I'm moving on. Peace out, dog. Okay. I have made it. Back to the world map. I wonder... Oh, and I can go back to other areas. That's pretty cool. The next area would be Mushroom Mead. But alas, actually... That is where I'm going to call it for this episode. I am so happy that finally after all this time, I was able to play a game that I kickstarted so long ago, and it, it came out well. I think you can also find this game on Switch. I played it on PC, but you can find it yourself. What I've been starting to do is I've been starting to place the link to where you can play these games, like the Steam Store for most of them, into the descriptions of the YouTube VODs that come after the fact, just in case you want to pick it up for yourself and try it. I don't know. I can't be the only one who likes to play random video games out there, and I certainly will not be the last. In any case, thank you everybody for coming along. This is very, very, this was very fun. It was a little frustrating at times, but I think that was because of like my inability to play the game properly, more so than any fault on the creators of the game itself. It's a lovely game. I like the art style, and the music was incredibly pleasant as well. I, th I think so, at least. Pinkapu, a game that I kickstarted once upon a time. It's been great. Honestly, on these kinds of nights when I do like these sort of indie game things, I don't know whether or not I'm going to go back and play a game unless it like really, really speaks to me. And sometimes it do, sometimes it don't. It honestly depends. So out of curiosity and not, I just like, if there's any, I feel so weird asking like that. But like, if this was interesting to you, let me know. So I know to provide more of this type of stuff. Because I could totally see myself playing this to the end, but... I don't know. It all depends. It really depends. So, honestly, let me know. I like talking. I have DMs on Twitter and whatnot. We also got a Discord server if you want to come in and chat about it. I just like talking to people. I talk all the time. I chat a lot. So I like to chat more. And that's kind of what we're here for, to make friends and put smiles on people's faces. So with that in sa that said already, thank you, everybody, so much for coming along and joining us during the party this evening. It's been great. I'm going to go to bed after this. So good night to anybody else who's going to do the same. If it's the morning where you are, have a wonderful rest of your morning. If it's 3 o'clock where you are somewhere, 3 a.m., 3 p.m., happy 3, my friend. Until next time, y'all, party on.